Hello, good morning! It's Magical Gamers Monday! And we have so many things to talk about. Um, I was... <laughs> it was like uh, 30 minutes into the hour, I was like, Oh shoot, do I have time to make another <laughs> Hogwarts Legacy update video? But that's okay, We're go I'm going to amend the agenda right now as we speak. I'm also gonna get my dog, because... This is the routine! We've established the routine, we can't break it anymore. Winnie, little Winnie, yes. Oh no, careful, careful. Yes, 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 yes. Hold on, I'm gonna edit the agenda. Uh, we're doing the welcome right now, but we're also going to, hey, excuse you. Hey, stop licking my keyboard, that's so unsanitary. <laughs> Hogwarts Legacy was nominated for a game award this year at the Game Awards. So we're gonna take a look at, um, I've, I've said this before, I have not played nearly as many games this year as I have last year. So I can probably put together a list uh, or count them because I'm pretty sure, I don't know, I played hundreds of games last year. I, did I finish them? No, but <laughs> I felt like I had a broader like understanding of different games that released last year. I was actually kind of surprised. I thought Tunic last um, came out last year, but I guess not. Um, so the Game Awards is December 8th, so it's less than a month away. <laughs> and um, it's hosted by Jeff Keighley, so there's, it's, it's just an award show. Some people hate it. I don't mind it. I like looking at stuff and getting hyped because you also get trailers and stuff. I'm excited. Um, hello, let me say hello to people. Where are we? Oh, also I, I started a Q&A before the stream. I, I think it's still up so you can, so I can separate questions from chat, at least for the moment. Um, Hit that like button, everyone. Thank you, Jenny. Every 10 likes is a wheel spin. We are almost at two wheel spins. I see it, I see it in the chat. First place for most of it, second twice, nice job. Hello, JP. You were in my head like the whole time. I would like type something and then you would type the same thing and I'm like, what is happening? <laughs> You're reading my mind. Good morning, blue green, welcome. Welcome, Tushar, hello, how are you doing? Double Blom, good to see you. Brittany, good morning. Alexis, hello. JP says there's two wheel spins. Two wheel spins. It's hard to find time to play games when life happens. Yeah, so the other thing, Eagle Eye is in the chat right here. Hello, Eagle Eye, how are you doing? Yo, did you know that Eagle Eye also has a YouTube channel? <laughs> I'm like, hey, let me shout out everyone that comes by that has a YouTube channel. Uh, check out Eagle Eye. What was I gonna say? Um, I'm a little like, woo, loopy right now. Not because I'm sick, but because I'm tired. <laughs> so unfortunately, uh, or Jeffrey um, was dealing with, we think it's a cold, I don't know. He seems to be getting over it. It wasn't super bad. Um, and I thought that I was, we've been, we, we've been like trying to not get each other sick. So um, I was like, oh no, am I getting sick? But it's just my regular immune system being tired and all of that. And also I made two videos this weekend. I made, uh, so I actually took Saturday off. So we had the showcase, the gameplay showcase for Hogwarts Legacy, which we're going to break down. Thank you, Veridus, Veridicus, Veridi, Ver. Thank you for subscribing. <laughs> I just said that I'm tired. I can't be expected to read words, you know? Um, I took Saturday off, we had the showcase on Friday and it was a lot, it was like a lot of information, a lot of hype, I was really excited about it, I took notes, I have notes all over the place and it, it's like my classic just organized disorganization, I know that they're like around, I have Google Docs, I have like written notes, if I think of something I write it down, uh, but I was just like, I'm gonna take the day on Saturday and I'm going to like just let my brain in the background process. <laughs> and then on Sunday, I'll think about prioritizing. So yesterday I made a short that I just could not get over. If you watched me live during the showcase, you know I was laughing so hard at the dialogue because um, 
There were just some funny lines in there, funny sass, and I just could not. So the one line that stood out to me was when main character says to Nellie, and we'll see it when we watch the thing back, um, why would I do that? And so I made a short because I was like, what if our characters said that to everything? Every person, it was just like, why would I do that? Why would I play with you, Zenobia? Why would I learn Crucio, Sebastian? So that inspired the poll for today. Favorite NPC from the Hogwarts Legacy gameplay showcase. So I put three options. I'm glad people are finally voting for Lucan because when I first put this up, people were not voting for Lucan and I felt bad. We have Nelly Ogsfire, who is obsessed with the Dedalian Keys. Uh, we have Zenobia Noak, who has a gobstone situation with some poor losers. And then we have Lucan Brattleby, who is in charge of the secret Grasswands dueling club. Uh, I almost put a fourth option, the kid in the background that had smoke coming out of him. <laughs> I don't know what, where it was coming out, if it was the ears, the mouth, everywhere, I don't know. Uh, and it took me forever to notice him finally in the uh, showcase and y'all pointed it out to me. But those are the three options for today. Right now we have 45 votes going and there's a tie between Zenobia and Lucan, it seems. <laughs> I nailed it, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Technically, we all, okay, yes. Uh, yes, I'll, I'll amend, thank you, JP. Eagle Eye makes gaming content on YouTube. <laughs> oh my gosh. Keeval, hello, how are you doing? You have a cold too? Yeah. Hey, Zaxa. Uh, we have some soup and Jeff is resting up. I mean, he's feeling a little bit better today, so we'll, we're just trying to get through each day at a time. I know, so much sass from the main character. Uh, Brittany, you said you've watched it a few times. Okay, good, because I feel like I need your help with, uh, if there's anything that I haven't picked up on, I think I've watched it maybe three times all the way through, and then I'll replay like certain parts over and over. <laughs> Isn't there candy? Yeah, what is the candy? People were saying uh, pepper up potion. It seemed that the kid was drinking a potion. I don't know what other things make your make smoke come out of you. Almighty 3000, can't wait to see you and the little Ravenclaw girl together. She is my daughter. I know I'm like supposed to be 15, but she's my daughter. <laughs> ben, hello, welcome to the stream. PlayStation has, oh, PlayStation Plus. Oh, for those of y'all who subscribe to PlayStation Plus, which is a monthly service where you get to access certain games uh, with your subscription, Harry Potter Lego games are on there for free. Thanks for calling that out, that's good. Darkshot says, I swear the smoke might have come from a pepper up because that's a side effect. It's possible. I kind of want to see like, I want to talk to that person. That's what I want to do. Barbie, hello! Jeremiah, why are so many people sick? I know! I feel like, uh, so, uh, yeah, I just feel like it's going around, you know? Rita, hello, just in time. When I see Rita, I know, there there should be wheel spins happening because Rita's in the chat right now. There we have, every 10 likes is a wheel spin, we have 24 on my count. I don't know, it might look slightly different for you. It's always like one off, cause y'all tell me like, oh hey, we, this is why I ask when I ask, did we get to 80 or whatever? Um, cause it's always one off on my screen. I don't know if it just takes away my own like, cause I do like my own streams. <laughs> oh, Sorry if that's, oh no, that's just loud in my ear because I was editing last night. I was like, oh gosh, why why is the wheel screaming at me? Really? That's what we're doing. <laughs> All right, Zaxa's Wheel Slice is uh, next stream. I'm gonna turn on the fan. Uh, next stream is Bellatrix makeup. Should I attempt to crimp my hair? <laughs> All right, Zaxa had, oh, okay, now my, I, maybe it didn't refresh for me. Mine's your, yes, three, three. I see 30. <laughs> Good job, y'all. Winnie, this is not your chair, baby. <laughs> oh my gosh, Winnie. Oh, Cindy! Oh, Rita, I don't know if you were here when I said what Cindy's wheel slice was. Oh, I guess you should know because you're in the secret chat with the wheel slices. <laughs> um, all right, so Cindy's wheel slice is uh, reducing and 
Last time, I did not redu reduce your fire slice. I reduced jumping jacks because I was like, I'm tired of jumping jacks. Why am I exercising? <laughs> she's Yeah, she's the, the opposite. The opposite. Okay, um... Let me change the wheel. I'm gonna spin it. This is the wheel spin number three. Come on, bee bee boo, bean 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 boo. I can't speak. Bean boozle. <laughs> no, it's Harry Potter trivia. Which is fine. Okay, this is this makes this makes the fire more sustainable for me because I can't have it getting out of control here. <laughs> um. Harry Potter trivia. Have I done a Harry Potter trivia in a while? There's a card up here, but I don't know what I've read from here. Oh, here's one. Harry Potter trivia. Who is Remus Lupin's wife? Who is Remus Lupin's wife? <laughs> Thank you, Morgan. Yeah, he's just a little baby child. <laughs> he loves to be on my lap, or he, he actually likes to burrow behind me in my chair, and it makes my back hurt. Micah, let's play. Hello, Micah, how are you doing? How's it going? Uh, let me look at, let me look at while y'all are answering the question. I'm gonna check and see how many questions we have in the, we don't have any questions. We don't have any questions, but that's okay. I can always check later. <laughs> I can always check later. Um, let's see, let's see. You're making your slice bigger till you rival fire bean. <laughs> That's funny, yeah. No, I I knew, I could read, I could understand what you were saying, Andrew. I knew that you were thinking Tonks. Eggbomb also, Tonks. I, I know y'all know it's Tonks. <laughs> uh, speaking of Tonks, getting our colorful hair in our character creator. I'm gonna have colorful hair. That should have been the poll, or a poll. It can be a question. Will it, what will you put in your your actual hair color? Or okay, no, natural hair color. Or will you put in a colorful bright hair color? Because some of y'all probably have colorful bright hair. But will you put your natural hair color or will you put colorful hair? I always, when given the option, I always choose purple, like a light purple. Don't call me Nymphadora. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so she's just still talk. Yeah, <laughs> she still talks even after marrying. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes, colorful, colorful, I can't speak. Colorful hair, lavender hair, natural hair, yeah. Black, not your natural one. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, also. <laughs> I didn't see, did y'all see any like bald? Oh, I guess you wouldn't be bald as a 15 year old. <laughs> I mean, you could be, you might be, or like a buzz cut. I don't recall seeing that. We didn't see all the hairstyles, I feel like though. At least what was the natural color used to me when I was younger? <laughs> uh, you're gonna cre create yourself, exactly, yeah, yeah. Whatever your hair color is at the time, pink. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. So, um, let's start. Actually, I'll just uh, call out, like there is, or there should be, a little questions box at the top of the chat. Um, what questions did you have after watching the gameplay showcase? If you don't have any questions, that's fine. You can always like pop them in there when we actually look at the showcase. Um, I just wanted to put it in there in case people had like burning questions and you wanted to ask and so I have them right off the start. You'll do a playthrough designing your main character as Voldy, like no nose Voldy. <laughs> is there is there a face structure for that where it's like I want uh where my face is snake nostrils. Do you have that? <laughs> Hogwarts legacy. <laughs> do you have that? Your first playthrough, your hair color. After that, rainbow on. Very nice. Oh, is it not up? Does anyone see the question box? I might I might end it and restart it. We'll see. You need to see PC gameplay. Yeah, I want to know what 
That's the thing that's still unknown to me. Oh, okay. Here, let me restart it. No wonder there's no questions. <laughs> okay, okay, let me try it. I'll try it. I think I was able to do Q&A and poll at the same time, right? Uh, what questions do you have after watching the gameplay showcase? Question mark. <laughs> All right. Did anything happen now? I'll wait and see if there's a question that pops up. Oh yeah, okay. You wonder if we can become an Animagi? I mean... Oh. I don't know what they ripped the Band-Aid off of. <laughs> So Alan too, who um, is at, he's a the game director, a game director. I don't know how many people work on this game, uh, but he works at Avalanche. He said that this was in the context of gobstones, that there's no playable gobstones in the game, no wizard chess, and, uh, or playable, it's mentioned through dialogue, talking to characters. And he, met, he made a comment about, like, through the course of production, ripping off the Band-Aid. So I don't know. There isn't a definite class schedule that we follow. It doesn't appear so. It doesn't appear so. It seems that they're, it's all, like, quest-based and, like, in chapters where you select things. Okay, I see some questions. While y'all are putting in your questions, I'm going to pop up uh, the first announcement, which was... About the Game Awards. The Game Awards happens every year. It's like a celebration of games. Um, so they announced earlier, so this was before the stream. Otherwise, I would have like watched it live, but it was really short. It was like, I don't know, it's just Jeff Keighley reading the nominees. So we don't need to watch him do it. We can just look at it. Um, I wanted, to, I was looking out for the nominations because I was hoping and it came true. I was hoping that Hogwarts Legacy was nominated for most anticipated game. So I'm already logged into my account, but you can go to the game, I, uh, is it called thegameawards.com? I don't know, I'll link it later. Uh, but there are nominees. The Game Awards are Thursday, December 8th, 7.30 p.m. Eastern, 4.30 p.m. Pacific. I'll be co-streaming it. I co-stream it every year. But in particular, I want to see if Hogwarts Legacy wins because that would be really fun and it would be super fun to see, I don't know, Chandler walk up on stage with Eric or something. I don't know. I don't know how this works. I've never had such an investment. It's usually like, oh yeah, games in the abstract, but this is like Hogwarts Legacy. It feels personal to me. So let's look at the categories. There are many categories. Um. Oh, should we go... No, maybe we should go in order, because I don't want to start with Game of the Year. Oh, I guess we'll start with Game of the Year. <laughs> it's taking me to Game of the Year already. Um, have Okay, who has played these games? Because, I, like I said, I haven't played many games this year. So we have A Plague Tale of Requiem, Elden Ring, God of War Ragnarok, which I've seen some people play. I, I think Eagle Eye is playing that right now. Uh, on Or having like uh, playthroughs on his channel. Horizon Forbidden West, Stray, Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Stray is on my wish list because I feel like I must play it and I don't, I know that it's, or what I've heard is that it's sad and that's perfect for me because I, I like the good catharsis of crying over sad stories. <laughs> Game director, thank you, Micah. Sorry, I'm sorting through and I'm I'm seeing your questions. You played nothing. <laughs> uh, you know, um, I have not played Horizon Forbidden West. I have. This is. I keep saying this. This is the. This is the ongoing joke. Is I have Horizon Zero Dawn, and I keep saying I have to play it. And when this game was coming out, I was like, okay, Lena, you really have to play it <laughs> so that you can have played it before the sequel comes out. And, or is it a sequel? It's a sequel, right? 
Or is it one of those sequels where it's like set before? I don't know the time frame or any of the story really, but um, I still haven't played it. It's just sitting in my library. Like all my other backlog games are just sitting there waiting to be played <laughs> forever. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Stray is so good. Oh, I'm waiting for w when it's on sale. Maybe I should really, well, I know I have it on my wish list, so it emails, Steam emails me and is like, hey, this game is on sale. Elden Ring wins since it's so diverse in the RPG world. Yeah, I've also watched some gameplay for Elden Ring. I, I don't know that I would personally be like, yes, I must play this, but I like there are certain games where I'm like, I really enjoy watching someone else play. <laughs> and I know that's the whole like concept of live streaming games, but um, Elden Ring is one of those games as well. <laughs> Forbidden West is so fun. Aw. Straight, yeah. You cried so many times in God of War, really? I only saw like the beginning parts. Yeah, no, it's all good, Jenny. You you don't have to play all the games. <laughs> First game has uh, best story for Plague Tale Requiem. I think it's also up for best narrative. Let's, uh, where? how do I advance forward? Next category. Yeah, 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 for sure. I've heard excellent things about God of War, Ragnarok, and uh, actually all of those games. Like, I've heard... Uh, well, I don't, I know the least about Xenoblade Chronicles 3, but for the rest of them, I've heard really great things. If everyone who grabs Hogwarts Legacy votes it for game of the year, you think it'll win. <laughs> uh, best game direction. So you're going to see a lot of like similar games nominated because they're, they're the big ones that people, that they have the most attention. I don't know Immortality. Um, let's keep going. I just want to, I just want to browse through real quick. I don't want to take too much time. Sim games, swapping out a few. Scorn, best art direction. What kind of game is Scorn? Is it scary? Because if it's scary, I don't really do stuff with it. Hogwarts Legacy for game of the year next year. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we have best score in music. Metal Hellsinger, also up here. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, best audio design. Gran Turismo 7. I'm not, I'm not restating the ones that, I, that we've seen for Game of the Year already. Uh, best performance. Um, it's funny, so like be, ever since I started watching Critical Role, uh, that's where I was like, oh hey, voice actors. Voice actors do multiple games and multiple things. So the only person I really know on this list is Ashley Birch. She's also on a show that I I don't know if it's already out for the next season, um, 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 Mythic Quest. But she voices Tiny Tina's Wonderlands and has been a guest star on Critical Role and does like a bunch of voice acting stuff. <laughs> Tim Tim Curry for sure. Hey Dan, what's up, Dan? Scorn is interesting. That doesn't tell me anything, Shaikim. <laughs> Scorn is gore slash horror. Oh no. Yeah, that's that's probably why I haven't like, I have no information about it. Hello, Alan, what's up? Ambient worlds, you're excited for the game. Cautiously optimistic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's you, there's fire and stuff and then it's a picture of a cat. That's what I, I, I really want Stray to win a lot of stuff. Games for impact. A memoir, so I've heard of a lot of these games because I also cover a variety of different indie games for the Indie Game Collective. So I've heard of these games. I know that many of these also have come in and out of game uh, Xbox Game Pass. So I'm, I recognize titles, I just personally haven't played them. Memoir Blue, As Dusk Falls, Citizen Sleeper, Endling, which I don't remember if I have but I definitely have looked into it, but I haven't actually played it because I feel like it's sad. I know I just said Stray is sad, but, <laughs> but like when I think about Extinction, that to me seems very sad. I have no idea how Stray is sad, but 
Extinction sounds like, I don't know if I want to deal with existentialism right now. Hindsight, and I was a teenage exocolonist. Is it wheel spin time? Oh, I don't know Ashley Birch's brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You would have to watch a breakdown of the story for Scorn. Uh, best ongoing. This category always makes me laugh because I'm like, it's always like the same games. And I don't play any of them. Apex, Apex Legends, Destiny 2, Final Fantasy, Fortnite, Genshin Impact. Like, actually that's, I have played Genshin Impact once, but the other ones I have not. Uh, Cult of the Lamb. Oh, this is indie, indie category. I should know stuff about this, but surprisingly, I haven't played a majority of these. I uh, really want to play Cult of the Lamb because I love Devolver published games. They're so specific, and uh, I usually enjoy them. And this, the way this looks is really like, it's a cult. There's lambs, like, come on. <laughs> Neon White, Sifu, Stray, again, on my wish list, and Tunic, I have played Tunic. I really enjoy Tunic. Look at this little fox, You're, it's, it's very enjoyable. Tower of Fantasy, yeah. Uh, best mobile game, I don't, I don't play mobile games anymore. Marvel Snap, how is Marvel Snap? Has anyone played that? Did Diablo Immortal turn out okay even though it was like, Really, it seemed to be really expensive <laughs> in terms of microtransactions. Um, let's skip ahead. Accessibility. Uh, I know Return to Monkey Island is on Game Pass. I have not played it. I also don't own anything that has VR capabilities, so I have not played this. I think Lamarack has covered Bone Lab on YouTube. Among Us VR, has anyone played Among Us VR? Ooh. <laughs> Wizards Unite, yeah, yeah, Oh, rip. Rip, best action game, Bayonetta 3, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Neon White, Seafood, oh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. So, okay, I can, I almost played this because there's this thing called dare drop. I've done it for a couple of streams where basically I complete challenges and earn free game keys or other like giveaway stuff for the community. And this was one of them, but it was like very exclusive. Like there were, there were tiers and you could only qualify for certain things if you were a certain size of a channel. And I was just like, this is too much. Do I really care about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Not at this point in my life. <laughs> yeah, just for the nostalgia. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Uh, best action adventure. We see similar games up here. I, I mean, really good options. Best role playing. I don't know what Live Alive is. That was the one that on here I've heard of, or I think I've seen someone play Triangle Strategy. Have I? Actually, I take that back. I don't know. I don't know Live Alive. Pokemon, did that come out this year? Or at least in the window for this year's game? Because that feels like ages ago. Maybe it came out last year. Did it come out in December last year? I don't know, but it feels like that that one, I'm just like, wait, did you come out this year? Uh, fighting games I know nothing about. I saw a lot of promotion for Multiverses because WB Games, uh, but this is not a category I have any expertise on. It was January, really? Okay. <laughs> Fortnite is out and Apex is in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks for, we got we got the like, what's hot with 11 year olds right now. New Pokemon is coming out this Friday. Yeah, I, I don't have plans to get it. Um, I'll just probably watch some streamers. Best family games. Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga. Yeah, I, I don't play any of these. I, I sound like I don't play any games. I just don't play these games that are nominated. Best Sim Strategy, Dune, Spice Wars, Mario and Rabbit Sparks of Hope, 
Total Warhammer 3, Two Point Campus. We played that on Magical Gamers Monday that one time. And Victoria 3, I don't know what that is. Two Point Cam Campus was so fun to me. I love, I, lo I don't play them often, but I really do love Sim games that it, where it's just chaos. It's like, what, what are you doing, little Sim over there? Why are you just like pooping in the hallway? I mean, that didn't happen, but <laughs> you know, they're just goofy. January was nearly a year ago. Okay, to be fair, yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, sports racing games, anyone? I don't play any uh, sports games. Then multiplayer. Uh, we have similar things coming up here. Also Overwatch 2, Splatoon 3. And... Content creator of the year, which I'm like, okay, now we'll just skip this. Best debut indie, Neon White, Norco, Stray, Tunic, and Vampire Survivors. I haven't heard of Vampire Survivors. I don't think I have. Uh, adaptation. See, there's just like so, so, so many categories here. Here we go. <laughs> this is finally where we got to. Most anticipated game. Recognizing an announced game that has demonstrably illustrated potential to push the gaming medium forward. We have a Final Fantasy. <laughs> 16. We have Hogwarts Legacy. We have Resident Evil 4. Starfield. And The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. What is so wild to me right now is that Starfield has been like on the docket for a while and so has Breath of, so that last one is actually Breath of the Wild too, the sequel. <laughs> the, spe the sequel to Breath of the Wild that we didn't know the name until like a few months ago or a month ago. I don't even know, time doesn't make sense to me. Uh, somebody commented on my video of the state of play and was like, can you believe this was seven months ago? And I was like, my brain was fritzing out because I it felt so long ago, but so short at the same time. And I just couldn't process that number. <laughs> About Proflinet, thank you. Yeah, so you have these big like, I mean, Hogwarts Legacy is up here. Hogwarts Legacy is up here with some big, big titles, like franchises, you have legacies of Zelda, Bethesda, Resident Evil, Final Fantasy. Hogwarts Legacy is up here. Most anticipated game. I don't know if I have to vote all at once. <laughs> I'll just vote right now. Voting is open. Speaking of, let me just grab the link so that you can vote as well. Is this, is this weird? Also, someone told me I had a wheel spin, right? Here, let's do the game awards. I'm gonna pop this link in the chat so that you can also vote. Um, 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 here we go. I'll just, I'll just put it right here. Go vote at here, I'll pin this. Oh shoot, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna say, Vote for, this is gonna be my campaign for today. Vote for Hogwarts Legacy as most anticipated game. And then all of us vote, it's gonna win at Game Awards. And people who aren't really following Hogwarts Leg Legacy are gonna be like, oh my God, we should cover Hogwarts Legacy. And then it will be even bigger at launch, you know? Vote for Hogwarts Legacy as most anticipated game at the Game Awards here. And I'll pin this comment, so... Oh, dang it. <laughs> I put a semicolon instead of a colon. I don't care, I'm not gonna retype it. We're gonna pin the message. <laughs> I have so many things happening right now. Oh my gosh. Do you need to make an account to vote? I don't know. I don't remember. Can someone test it? <laughs> I, I guess I am logged in, so I am voting logged in, but I don't know. I would imagine so, because how do you, how do you prevent spam? Cuphead is a great show. <laughs> I'm so, no, okay, listen. I didn't realize I had to create a bathroom, Zoxa, so that <laughs> the sim wouldn't poop on the floor. <laughs> oh, you needed the account, okay, okay, okay. 
Oh, you can sign up. You can sign in with your Google account or social. Oh, so it's just like linking your account. I see. Raina, hello, 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 hello. Perfect. All right. Well, there you have it. You can go vote for. I didn't even look and see what else was left. <laughs> Hogwarts Legacy. Does it still have it up here? Yeah, it literally just says votes cast one. <laughs> oh, okay. So it's because the rest of the the rest of the category. I know you can't see my screen, but the rest of the categories are esports, and I have zero, absolutely zero knowledge of esports. I don't know anyone. I don't know. I just I just don't know anything about esports. I understand what esports are. I get it, but I just don't. It's not something I know anything about. Wheel wheel spin. Four wheels. Four wheels. <laughs> Oh, okay, we are voting for the Game Awards. Um, I pinned the comment. Ooh, yes, Bean Boozle. Um, so it's just at the, you can just go to thegameawards.com. Uh, this is happening December 8th. Uh, and Hogwarts Legacy is nominated for most anticipated game. I'm not gonna close my eyes, I'm just gonna hold it up. It is, it is probably earwax. Mmm. That's gross. <laughs> oh, that's gross. Mm, wait. No, it might be rotten egg. Oh, no, wait. It looked tan, not white with specs. Mmm. Mmm. Most anticipated game. <laughs> Awkward's legacy. Ignore, ignore my reaction here. My vote is place. I've only voted one, you can see, one vote cast out of 31. I voted for Hogwarts Legacy, most anticipated game of 2023. Like, ooh, and I can share it. Wait, I can share this. <gasps> download. Oh, okay, okay. I'm gonna download this. Sorry, I promise we're going to like look at stuff. <laughs> I'm just like, oops. How do I, how do I, how do I get out of this situation here? Oh, okay, it's just on the next tab. Um, yeah, Hogwarts Legacy. <laughs> so let's get into the uh, what we're here for. I mean, here, let me just so I don't forget. I'm gonna. Put the link in the description as well, so I don't forget. Uh, vote for Hogwarts Legacy as most anticipated game. I'll just splice this and I'll make it. I'll make it a video or a short or something at the Game Awards. And then you can also tune in at. Hold on, I have to say this. <laughs> You can also tune in on Thursday, December 8th. I'll be co-streaming the Game Awards and we can wait and see, does Hogwarts Legacy win most anticipated game? That was for YouTube. <laughs> so if you see that clip, it's for YouTube. <laughs> or you see it on YouTube. All right, um, I'm going to, I'm gonna close these just so I don't like, Google Chrome waste resources with my computer here. We're gonna look at the gameplay showcase. I kinda wanna do frame by frame, so that means I'm gonna keep the music on and I'm just gonna put it at 0.25 speed and mute it. And hopefully that works out fine. But let's also... I'm just gonna let it play normal right now while I get to your questions, so I don't forget your questions. I'm gonna get your questions up. That's what's happening. Let's get your questions. I know there were questions way earlier in the chat as well, so let me also scroll up a bit and see if I find them. It's, oh, it's after Tonks. It was after Tonks. Let's see, let's see. Uh, okay, I remember Shaikim. There's not a definite class schedule that we follow. Uh, will there be additional activities throughout the castle, considering that gobstones and wizard chess is missing? Will it only be side quest as a main quest? Okay. Um, we saw that ASMR that had a pile of stones. It didn't... 
It was unclear whether we would be able to interact with it. It's it's very interesting because I now I'm kind of like, well, I I feel like the interaction is limited in terms of what we can do. So I think that it'll be pretty structured. So if it's tied to a side quest or a main quest, um, it might also be tied to puzzles. So actually, if I can skip ahead, because I want to show y'all what I noticed. I don't remember which time it was that I saw this. Was it? It was the one where, this might be too far. We were going outside. Is this it? Is it before the Cross Wands Dueling Club? We were outside, it was the one with the Merlin puzzle on a bridge. Do y'all know what I'm talking about? Uh, we were walking. Is it here? Is it here? No, that's not the bridge I'm looking for. Where's the bridge that I'm looking for? This is the belt or the clock tower. It was a bridge scene. We crossed a bridge somewhere. I don't have this memorized like I do the state of play <laughs> of where things are. And even with the state of play, I get confused. I'm like, oh, I don't know. Oh, this is the same scene. I don't think it was like all the way at the end. Anyway, there was like a cloud and I was like, wait a second. Wait a second. What is this doing here? It was the moment where uh, Chandler was like, oh, Andrew, don't interact with that puzzle. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Might encounter a troll. Is it here? I feel like I'm going too far back. Or here we go. Here we go. This is it. This is it. So this is the bridge, and there is that puzzle right there. Also, it seems that you can interact with those. Uh, you can ignite those flames that are on the bridge, and then you see this on the right. There is just some random storm cloud that's raining. So I. This was like probably the third time that I watched it all the way through that I noticed this and I was like, hey, we'll probably use something like Meteorolo Jinx Recanto to make the storm weather stop and then something probably pops up. I don't know if it's a puzzle or if it's, you know, like in Breath of the Wild where you have to do certain things for a Korok seed. We won't have Korok seeds in Hogwarts Legacy, but maybe something to collect, you know? You want the storm cloud as a pet where it just follows you around? Maybe you can summon it as your, uh, maybe it's the Ravenclaw companion. And it's, um, it's a Ravenclaw companion, it's a cloud, <laughs> and it just rains on your enemies. <laughs> I mean, but yeah, so I guess that's not exactly a mini game or what you're saying, additional activities, but it could be related to puzzles. It could be like main quest, side quest things like broom racing, I imagine is still in the game because I don't think someone can check the FAQs on the website, but I don't think broom racing was removed from the FAQs, you know, Stormclaw. <laughs> uh, I know, I know. Sorry to rain on your parade. <laughs> Stormclaw. That's what we're calling. We're calling this cloud storm call. Oh, Jerry, hello. I miss I miss saying hello. Feathers, hello. Reggie, hello. You hope for numerous amounts of DLC content so you can spend time immersed in the world and away from reality. That's the hope. Also, hello, Kivel. I don't oh, I think I might have said hello, but hello again. <laughs> oh my gosh. The cloud needs a robe. How would that work? How would that work? Okay, let me come back over here. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see. Can I choose which animal I have or not? How will my owl exist in the lake in the Slytherin <laughs> dormitory? <laughs> it, has, it always has to take the long way out. It's kind of annoying, no. Uh, so at the beginning in our, somebody pointed this out in a comment, but I didn't actually go back and look. In the Hufflepuff common room, or dorm room. I did it as well. There is an owl 
Alan, you can tell the class what kind of, is this a barn owl? What kind of owl is this? It's, it has a huge head. Are those what owls look like? It like proportional, pr proportion wise? Surely there are smaller owls, right? <laughs> it's a huge owl. It's, hold on. I'm trying to remember what Hedwig looked like in the movies with Harry. Do I remember the size of Hedwig? <laughs> I don't know. But apparently there's another owl at the end that's different. So let's see if we can find it. I don't know where exactly at the end. Did y'all see a second owl somewhere? Well, also, that is a different owl. What? Okay, what kind of owl is that? <laughs> Anyway, can I choose which animal I have? I would imagine so. If if you can have a pet, I imagine that you can choose it. I don't I don't know if we should have had a Slytherin <laughs> uh, walk around in the common room to show like how do your owls function underneath a lake? It's I mean this well I don't know this owl seems smaller than the other one has a giant head. <laughs> <laughs> oh man you hope there's a ton of dlc if there's no ravenclaw companion they need to make it up to us yeah ravenclaw companion is in an additional dlc <laughs> oh my goodness jason you said you'll be choosing a cat and you're in slytherin see cats i can see that you're just like you're a cave cat underground at a different time in the same room, there was an eagle owl. Is this an eagle owl? This is a horned owl? I don't know. <laughs> hey, Thick, what's up? Thank you so much. It's very kind. Um, Let's see what else. I'm going to keep scrolling back. We'll just, we'll just play the character creator, why don't we? I'm going to get to the questions tab. Uh... To help me out, if you have a question, type it in that box that says questions so I can find it. Uh, ba, 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 ba. I think that was I think that was it. Also, common thief, you've seen enough of the game, you think you're going in blind. Okay, this I didn't want to bring this up. I am aware that there is a trophy list for Hogwarts Legacy. And I, as this is probably why on Saturday I did not do anything on the internet. Um, when I saw that, I was, I immediately was like, nope, shut down, shut down Twitter. You might as well burn it down at this point. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so for, I, I have not looked at that. I am avoiding spoilers. I don't even want to know non spoilery things, uh, even though I feel like I've, I feel like people people have been people I follow have been good to try to mask it, but there's also like weird little comments like, oh, I'm disappointed that and then something it's not like the thing, but it's like talking around the thing and I'm just like ah la 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 <laughs> you know? I do not I don't want spoilers. I I do not cover any leaks on Hogwarts on Hogwarts Legacy. <laughs> It's true. I don't cover any leaks on Wizard PhD. That's what I was trying to say. That's why I laughed and I I run Hogwarts Legacy now. I don't do leaks. I don't like rumors. I just want this I don't know. I don't know if this is like my very like I I don't know what it is. I just don't want it. <laughs> don't tell me. So I'm kind of nervous because we're still months away from February. And I'm just like, oh no. Uh, it's probably gonna be, there's probably gonna be unavoidable spoilers for me, but I just don't wanna look at it. Do we really want a Ravenclaw companion after seeing Zenobia's behavior? Okay, Zenobia is not the companion. She's just an 11 year old who doesn't know how to talk to people. She's probably a person that Poppy meets for the first time and is like, yeah, I don't like people. <laughs> Oh man. Uh, 
Um, here's your question. Since we can't edit our character, we need to play it out in advance to get it. So, um, wait, wait uh, what do you mean we can't, uh, can you say more, Clementia? So, we can edit, we can edit, like, outside of this screen. We can edit, like, hairstyle. <laughs> <laughs> That's what that was my understanding is that there's limited things that you can change and you can't really change other things uh, I guess the question is how many different pro can you have a different profile in Game that you like load up and you're like, okay, this is my other character my other my alt self <laughs> Oh gosh Yeah uh, who else, who else, who else? You usually listen to hear how many trophies. Yeah, I, I did see that number. I don't remember. <laughs> I, I saw it and then I like forgot it instantly. It's going so slow, right, right. Exploration is the part you're most excited for and you wanna go in blind. Yeah, for sure, yeah. Zen is the adopted little sis. Lots of snark. Still missing a height slider. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Wait, does this mean I'm gonna be tall? Or do you think like... Hmm, interesting. I didn't even think about that. I, I said, does this mean I'm gonna be tall because I'm not actually tall in real life. Barbershop hairstyle, everything else we need to get the way we want. Yes, I, th I think that... Uh, you can't, I don't think you can just like swap in and out of houses. Uh, they probably just like keep the, the, uh, what you call it? What did he say? Body shape? Is that what he said? You can't change the face, but you can change hairstyle and color later. Later. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the broom closet, which hello, welcome. Yeah, there is, you're you're right cuz I I don't think um we just saw faces. <laughs> we just we just saw faces here. They also said though that there are different glasses that you could acquire during the game. So that makes me wonder if you equip it here or if you just have it in your bag and you equip it. Cause this, this whole view seems like the setup menu, like, like the literal character creation menu. And it's not like you go back in here and you're like, oh, I'm gonna change this now. Cause I'm trying to remember. So like in Skyrim, when you start at the very beginning, you're like on the thing and it's like, oh, you're awake, blah, blah, blah. And then it goes into the character creator and you choose like your race and all of that. Um, that's not something you can change, right? Unless uh, you're playing with crowd control and someone just changes you to an orc. <laughs> I, th I think so, right? Thank you, Alex. As a reminder, every 10 likes is a wheel spin. Oh, are we at 50? We're at 50. I think it's wheel spin time. Yeah, so here's the thing is that even in the Autodesk, when they had the little, the little mock-ups of the avatar and they were showing how you did the thing in Maya or whatever it was that they were using, where they took the animation of the spell casting and they applied it to the female avatar, I don't know, I feel like, hmm. Cause now I'm like, wait, is everyone the same height? <laughs> uh, so I'm just, I'm not sure. Cause on this screen, let me scroll forward a bit. Like is the witch avatar and the, is there only a witch avatar and a wizard avatar? No, this says dormitory, so it says this choice will determine your player character's dormitory, but does that like signal some sort of height situation? Because we didn't see that anywhere, and there, there didn't appear to be a scroll down, right? 
this was like eyebrow shape, but that there wasn't, it would be on like an earlier screen with the, it would be on like this screen, right? Do these, do these characters seem like there's only two heights? Let me get to it, the little presets. Now, now I have questions. That, this was not a question that I initially had because I, I was also like, oh, character creator, five seconds. <laughs> I mean, I can't tell. They kind of, oh. Well, I guess that body shape is, well, are they different? I'm like trying to do some visual me measurements of these video game characters. I don't know. <laughs> Um, oh, sorry, you can't even see what I'm looking at. <laughs> Cause I'm wheel spinning. Um, I'm gonna wheel spin, then I'll show you what I'm looking at. Cause I'm just staring at the screen like, oh, is that what? Good thing it's Bean Boozle. My God. You can't change your race without mods, but you can find a woman who will pay to change your face and stuff. Oh, is this cherry or is this cinnamon? This is what I'm looking at, is the preset scene. This is cinnamon. The animation reason is why they're all the same height and body size. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's that's what seems so too. So the, I guess like so that does that mean? Are there different body types? It doesn't seem like it, right? Yeah. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. I'm just like, I'm looking at it. <laughs> oh gosh. All we have is face shape, skin color, and glasses. I mean, I guess, I guess it's fine. Uh, let me go to the questions tab because y'all have lots of questions for me up here. Uh, close this. Oh no, can I scroll all the way up? Dang it. Um, hold on. I gotta make this full screen. Elwyn needs to see what PC gameplay would look like. I also want to know. In particular, I'm gonna scroll to the combat scene. Well, I guess this is where they walk through with the dummy. I think I'm gonna try both. I'm gonna play, I so I'm gonna get the game for PC. That's where I'm gonna be playing. I'm gonna play both keyboard and mouse and I'm gonna play on controller. I'm gonna hook up my controller to my computer and I'm gonna see what feels better because I, I don't know. Usually when I play on PC, I wanna play keyboard and mouse. It just feels better to me with the camera panning. Uh, but sometimes for, for certain games, I can't think of any off the top of my head, but I know for a fact for certain games, I have switched to controller just because it feels more natural for me to do combat sequences with a controller. But I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see, I don't know. Cause like, we're gonna be switching, what normally is like a button for, instead of like, I'm, I'm assuming that L1, L2, R1, R2 are like the trigger buttons, you know, like the, the LB or the, R trigger RT on Xbox controllers. But I don't know what, I don't know how it would feel for PC. Level cap, also a good question. Um, something that I caught at the very end, I mentioned this in my video breakdown earlier today with NPCs, even though like we don't actually talk to them, they're not NPCs. In this ending cutscene or sequence of scenes. Merlin Morgana, we have Zenobia again. We have this battle scene right here where, oh, not this, that's the dueling club. Constance Dag worth getting destroyed. We're going flying out. Look at these fall colors, they're so pretty. They're so pretty. This, Ash, Ashwinder Ranger. There's also a scout. Uh, there's a couple things on this screen. 
One is that this says it's level 18. I went back to go check uh, for the, the dueling because I was like, oh, 18 is green. Does that indicate any sort of like level of difficulty? Or, you know, like, oh, they're equal level to you or they're a higher level or lower level. But Hector Jenkins, like this duel, the, the, the number is also green. We're level two in this scene because this is what they did to walk us through and we were level two, if I remember correctly. So maybe, maybe not, but uh, the 18 for the Ashwinder and on the bottom in the little mini map, you can see the red icons for the enemies. There are two enemies and my favorite is like when we did the Depulso and we, we put, oh, this is not the, is this the full scene? Yes, when we did the Depulso, you see the red icon get pushed back, but there's also a third one down there, which I'm like, oh, who's down there? What you doing, buddy? Also, in that shot where we shot them back, if you look at the spells that are that are up here, the little square one with the, the hand, I think that's Depulso, because what happens when we were about to use it, we use it and we push them back, so I think that is probably Depulso. During dueling, one of the kids drops something. We are you talking about that like um, that shiny stuff? Because I wanted I wanted Andrew to run straight for it. I was like, can you please pick this up? I need I need to know what this substance is. It's like near the end, right? You put copyright on your name. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. I keep saying Alan, and I'm talking about the guy in the video. <laughs> You wonder if on PC we'll be able to aim freely instead of lock on. I wonder if that's an option just in general. I don't know. I don't know the answer to these questions. <laughs> which controller will you use on the PC? So I just have a gamepad, which is an Xbox controller setup. I can also hook up my Switch controller, but the number of times I confuse myself with the Switch, because uh, I have a, a pro controller that I can hook up to the computer as well. But I'll probably just use my gamepad. I might upgrade and get a nicer one. We'll see. It's been working out okay. It's one. It's just a cheap, like, uh, what do you call this? Like, Logitech gamepads. I guess if there's rumble stuff, maybe I'll have to get a better one. Level cap seems to be 50. That's how many talent points we had. Oh, total there is 50? Huh. You're thinking 40 or 50. Doctor Who from Sweden, hello and welcome. You'll have the game on Steam too, awesome. You know a particular double digit number we can reach? No! <laughs> okay. Oh, I missed the part. So what was there, was there substance on the ground? I feel like there's like drugs or something. Like this this little sparkly stuff, right? Wait, we, that's what I was hoping. Did I miss that the first time around? Cause I was thinking like, maybe we're knocking off like bits of um, resource. Did, did our ancient magic bar fill up when we did that? Cause that, if it's blue, what if we're knocking off like ancient magic bits? Consume it, I, I need to see, I need to see this happen. Okay, it didn't look like it increased to me, but it looked like something, you know? Green numbers mean you're higher on the same, or on the same level. Red means you're lower. Uh, the other, oh yeah, because the other thing is that in dueling, the, the health bar for our enemies, or I guess our, our uh, the people we're dueling, is green and I'm imagining it's because it's friendly. We're not trying to kill the kids <laughs> in a duel. Who are we? Alexander Hamilton and Aaron Burr? <laughs> Just kidding. Um, so this is green for the health bar for them. And then with the Ashwinders, they're red because you know clearly they're enemies and they pop up on the map as red. So enemies, red, that makes sense. Yeah, it looks, okay, so it looks like it collected to the ancient magic meter. I couldn't tell if it increased, but it's blue, so I feel like it could match. 
With a controller, you feel like you've done a workout, but on keyboard and mouse, you can play a lot longer. That's a good point. I do cramp up a lot faster with the controller. That's why, like, when I, even though I love having the Switch to be portable, um, I can't play for that long, which I guess is a good thing. There's got to be a balance here. You're excited to get your hands on the combat system. You want to learn what spells we get for the combat. I'm also curious about the spells that we can, the optional classes that we can take for additional spells. Like I heard that and I was like, uh, yeah, please. Can I please uh, get all of the spells that I can? Yeah, so that seems like for the, the blue in the combat that if you're in a close enough radius to it that it kind of goes into you. That's really cool, because that that makes me feel like it's part of the charging and like maybe it helps the charge fill up faster. Okay, I'm so far behind, sorry. <laughs> what rating is this game again? I don't know, what if we all just have essence of ancient magic on us because we're magical, you know? Hope the haptic feedback on PS5 is fire. Yeah, hey Russ, what's up? Uh, DualSense PS5 features work with the PC version. Ew, that's a good suggestion as well. It's a good suggestion. Yeah, it's just a real cheap gamepad, Zoxa. But now I have a new suggestion of try trying to pick up a DualSense controller and see if it works with a PC. Um... Oh, wait! Common Thief, you used the DualSense for Spider-Man on PC and it was worth it. Okay, I'm gonna add this to my Christmas wish list. <laughs> where's, where's a pen? I have a pencil here. PS5 DualSense. You're hoping we can turn off the hit points? You see yourself getting annoyed by it. Well, what was it? Was there a mention that you can turn off the the damage numbers? Or am I making that up? I know that you can turn off the mini map or that was mentioned. But yes, next gen gaming, I'm also with you. I like having the options. Like even if it, I just leave it on default just to see like, oh, hey, this is fine. But it's, to me, I think it's always good to have options. Oh, keyboard and mouse makes your carpal tunnel flare up. Controller doesn't. Oh. <laughs> Teen rated angel dust. <laughs> Can't wait to explore Hogwarts and get lost. Um, at the top of the staircase after leaving the Hufflepuff common room. And yes, yes. Okay, so uh, Jeff also pointed this out to me because I didn't notice this the first time. It was the roll and he was like, what is that? Uh, oh wait, where am I? Leaving the, uh, where's the stairs? This is way far back. I'm gonna find it. It probably just played and I like ignored it again. Go, 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 go. How many apples can we eat in game? Did I skip it? It hasn't happened yet, right? Has it happened yet? <laughs> Let me just keep going five seconds at a time. Has it happened yet? Did I skip it? Is it here? Anyway, I know what you're talking about. There's like a roll button and it it's like the question mark. It kind of looks like the... Um, it hasn't happened. Go ahead, like three minutes. Is it this? Is this too far? Oops. Oh no, I started over! <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a triangle thing, right? I know, oh, it's here, it's here, it's here. Yeah, so this, it kind of looks like, so okay, everyone take this in. It's a little symbol and it has like, it, it looks like a question mark, and there's like a little thing. Oh, unless it's saying your character rolls, but I, I thought that it was pointed to this thing. Because earlier, I thought that there was an icon to interact with the students in the Hufflepuff common room, but it was actually just the bowl of apples, so... <laughs> hmm. 
Uh, but there's this other part with the weird like room. It's this, it's this scene right here. So when we pass this, right here, same looking symbol, but maybe it's, is the triangle upside down or pointing up or pointing down on the other shot? I guess we can pop back to it. But this is the same kind of situation. And I feel like this question mark could be, for some reason in my brain, I'm thinking the question mark relates to this doorway, but the doorway could actually be separate. And there, so what I'm trying to get at is that these question marks could be linked somehow in, in like the same style of puzzle or same style of something happens when you roll it. Like that's probably similar. It was upside down in the other scene, okay. I, I know, what is this? What is it? <laughs> Uh, if this was shot in September, October, the final pro product in February is going to be even better. Yeah. I mean, I didn't even, I, time is so funny. So the reveal trailer, I went back and I looked at the, the cinematics there and those look very rough now, even though they are somewhat polished a bit in the sense of like, it has the sort of trailer sheen to it, but when I rewatched the state of play compared to that, I was like, oh wow, they they really, you can see development happening, you know? Should be spin instead of roll? I know, wheel spin, <laughs> just kidding. God of War two months ago versus now even looks way different, really. You think that the question is some unre unrevealed fun for the release? Yeah, I don't think we'll find out what that is anytime soon. Um, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Rita says that you love playing online games right after you got the uh, cable modem when it was a new thing. You would play Wolfenstein, it was so much faster than dial-up players. You seem like such a great gamer when you're average. That's hilarious. Oh my god. Uh, maybe Avada is a spell you have to change up in order to use and probably needs to be dark. Yeah, I I have questions about Avada, but I'm also like, hey, what's going on here? What's going on here? Cutscenes look rough, but other than that, the game looks amazing. Hello, Relax Hub. Um, Andrea says you can turn off parts of the HUD. Okay, okay. Uh, do you think the halo we'll see around our head is because we can sense magic because of the ancient magic ability we have? Interesting. I was, um, that hadn't crossed my mind yet because I was thinking like, oh, this is, this is just game, game, gameplay signaling something to you. The game is trying to signal something to you, the player, but I like that as a narrative explanation for why we can sense it. Like we have this spidey sense that we're like, hey, this is about to happen. You just wanna see what happens before we get to Hogwarts? I know. I need to know how much they, I want to know, I don't need to know right this second, but I want. I can't wait to find out what they tell us about how we come to be at Hogwarts, you know? All right, now I'm, I'm like catching up. There are two students you can interact with in the clock tower without quest. Yeah, after we destroy these kids by throwing barrels and crates at the, the crate and barrel strategy. Like we just destroyed Narita. She can't walk for a week now. <laughs> um, but after this happens and we do our like sup Lucan to him, we have like the little icon. You can see the icon pop up over them. You hope you don't spin a vomit bean. <laughs> oh my gosh. Another another wheel spin is coming up. Do you, how many bean boozles do you want me to do? When Chandler said first showcase, you got so excited. I also got excited. I was like, hey. <laughs> hey, what's going on, Hogwarts Legacy? Your favorite Ravenclaw girl who is also really sus and likes to, I don't know, break down things and make up random ideas. Here we go. Look at the little the little diamond icon. So we can either talk to them or we just like, we're not done, we just throw a spell at them. That would be so mean. 
That would be so mean. Maybe you roll for a random clothes item or something. Yeah. Yeah. You're wondering about the magical upgrade system. That's very curious. Uh, yeah, I'm curious about how that's exactly gonna work. House points, glasses was the highlight. Okay, I'm gonna pull up the house points and then I'm gonna go back to the questions that were submitted and see, it's right here. See, I can kind of scrub. All right, questions. I have to make this full screen because there's lots of questions here. How will we learn dark magic? Not necessarily the unforgivables. What, what I'm interested in is whether or not we'll have a teacher. Was it that Professor Sharp was a former Auror? I feel like, okay, if Professor Sharp is, is, is someone that we can get close to because we do like optional quests or we get to know him better, then what if he teaches us some like, special aura shit, you know? Or like dark magic that he would defend against and be like, you gotta know your enemies? <laughs> I don't know. So I'm hoping that we might learn it through those optional quests, the side quests, the optional classes. I don't know if like the Sebastian, the Sebastian Dark Legacy, I don't know if that opens up a whole other section of possibilities that we wouldn't be able to have. I mean, I imagine so because yes, you have Crucio, but does that open up options? This is kind of what I was wondering with the comment that Alan made, Alan too made about the, uh, your choices having an influence on the world around you, like the students and your relationships and potentially the ending of the game. And if you can make choices and then people talk and they're like, oh yeah, uh, that person and Sebastian are like off. They go off into the forbidden forest to do dark magic. That sounds way dirtier than it is. But like if they like spread rumors and then you're, you have this sort of like reputation, I know that there's no formal relationship um, what do you call it? System uh, in the game based on what Chandler has clarified for us, but it it could be interesting to see like maybe interacting with Sebastian opens up other dialogue options for different characters. All the dark kids are coming out to play, you know? Uh, you're wondering what the black mirror or picture was in the Dada Tower. Dada? Dada? Zenobia, she's such a little child. All right, uh, you tell me when slash where this is. Uh, 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 uh. The moss on the ground, the reflections in the water. <laughs> Professor Sharp is gonna teach us, ooh, a, a spell that he made, this thing, this black mirror thing? Oh my God, it's Black Mirror, like the TV show. <laughs> no, that's really interesting. Wait a second. What is that mirror? Does anyone know? Or have any like connections to lore? Cause I'm thinking of um, faux glass. Is it a version of faux glass? Oh, is it the chalkboard? Wait, this, no, this little thing. What is this little thing? You love the butterflies? Does it even reflect? Now I'm like, wait, what is this? <laughs> what is this thing right here? Big Evil 52, hello, welcome. You can pay for extra or pay extra for low latency. I don't know what that is. It did not appear to have any reflection. Or no, it has like a little shine to it. But it's it's like real dark. What is that? If Diagon Alley is in the game, you hope they keep it for release. That would be quite the surprise. I'd be fine with that. 
do you think we can swim? Since they said if you can see it, you can go to it. I, I'm still on team hope for swim. <laughs> I really want to swim. I want to dive. I want to explore. Ugh. I know. I, okay, I gotta say this one more time because I would love to just sit down with Boston. I think Boston needs her own show. <laughs> like her own segment so that we can chat about everything that and like specifically the lore connections. I love how she just casually was like, oh yeah, book three, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh my God, I love you. Please, can you just tell me everything? You need to be in the spotlight, please. Like, I just can't, I can't. <laughs> yeah, the hospital wing will take care of people. Uh, we have a wheel spin. I feel like this is, I love so much chat going on. I am so sorry if I'm missing your comment. There's a lot going on here. They'll probably do a gameplay in the new year to re-engage people after the holiday. No! <laughs> Zaxa! <laughs> I didn't even write yours down the first time around. Okay, so Zaxa means two Bellatrix streams at some point <laughs> we'll aim for next monday we'll see when the next one is um excited to see students and hogwarts evolve through the seasons yeah yeah for sure oh my goodness okay 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 let me come catch back up <laughs> yeah, Boston seems like our kind of nerd. Boston, we love you. You're you're so great. I just I love how detailed and also you can make cool stuff. Like you can design things and I just I just loved her segment. Or like when she was talking, I was like, please say more. <laughs> Email her for an interview. Don't think I won't, I will. <laughs> I'm gonna find her. <laughs> Not in a like creepy way like I'm going to find her just to be like can I just even if it's just like a series she doesn't have to be here live like just a series of questions or just like I don't know pre-recorded so that it's signed off by WB game so <laughs> so there's no like risk of anything that they don't want to know if you do your hair it'll count for two okay deal with hair. Otherwise, if I'm like too lazy, I'll just be like, okay, I'll do two. <laughs> You're gonna play with the voice sliders. Yeah, it would be so great. Ideal YouTube channel, Hogwarts banter with Boston. I agree. Make it happen, Avalanche. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, thank you, Mel. I would love to be at the next gameplay showcase. I don't even know what it would be. Actually, no, I know what it would be. Hogwarts Legacy. Wouldn't it be such a lovely present to all the Ravenclaws who have been waiting for a Ravenclaw companion to have your most chaotic Ravenclaw content creator come into the studio and meet them for the first time. Can you imagine my reaction meeting the Ravenclaw companion for the first time? This is my pitch to you. You know where to find me. <laughs> Retro, what's up? How you doing? <laughs> uh, another, y'all know Retro. Retro Raconteur, who also, Retro, what would you want to showcase at, uh, if you were invited to Hogwarts Legacy to be like, hey, community, this is this is what Retro presents. Retro presents. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, let me go back to the questions tab because I, I lost track. You know, in hindsight, I don't know if this was the best plan. <laughs> okay. You want to know how long the game would be, casual play and 100% play. Casual play, like put it like infinity, infinity hours. Like hundreds and hundreds of hours, casual. 
What's the most number of hours y'all have put into a game? That is my question for you. And 100%, I, yeah, that's interesting as well because it also, I feel like, hmm. I don't know. How similar would the, no, the casual play would definitely be hundreds of hours longer than 100%, right? <laughs> a thousand plus? Do you think you'll play more for Hogwarts Legacy? I guess this is the question at hand. I also saw a question up like way a long time ago about like how big is the map? So it's all of these things. We will find out that the Ravenclaw Companion is the most important. <laughs> the Ravenclaw Companion is gonna be the most com important and then they're gonna play a game of gobstones with Zenobia and she's just gonna straight up call them a loser. <laughs> Oh, Zenobia is the best. Jenna, hello, welcome. We're just chatting about all sorts of things related to the gameplay showcase. Um, I made my my pitch to uh, Avalanche that I should reveal the Ravenclaw companion. <laughs> oh my goodness. I, it's just, we would have to make sure that there's like good... Um, there's a good noise gate for the mic, whatever mics that we're using, or you know, maybe multiple takes so that they can listen and be like, nope, you peeked out the mic again by screaming. Can you like step away from the mic just a little bit? <laughs> oh my gosh. No way, 20K? How many, how many years is 20K? Or I don't know, is, is that years? Does that get into years? <laughs> How many, put that in a different unit for me. A couple hundred. Yeah, I think I, uh, what is my, mo I know I've looked this up before. I feel like Breath of the Wild is up there as like top for me. Skyrim is not there yet. It's not really, it's not even close. Uh, just because I came, I came to the game late, even though it's been out for 11 years. Um, over 500 in Resident Evil 2 Remake. <laughs> probably over a thousand and probably in Skyrim. Nice, nice. Super Mario, oh my God, Super Mario. You, here's the thing is I'm sure I've, well, I don't know in terms of hours, but I'm sure I've dumped lots in the N64, but there's no way for me to track how many hours that is. 190 hours in Fantasy Star Online 2, New Genesis, ooh. Star Wars Galaxy back in high school. Well, Super Smash Bros. Yeah, the, you have the longevity of it, the lifetime accumulation of hours, for sure. For sure. <laughs> Cloud Claw. <laughs> oh, uh, the other thing here, let me, oh, I don't have it up. The other thing, it's the pinned comment right now. So we saw that Hogwarts Legacy is nominated as uh, or for most anticipated game at the Game Awards this year. So that is the link if you would like to vote for Hogwarts Legacy as the most anticipated game of 2023, go vote there. And wouldn't it be so epic if they won? And then the hype would be like, we would be speeding up the hill with a Game Awards win for most anticipated game. There are some pretty big games up there as well. Ravenclaw Companion is a secret character tied to the main quest line. Yeah, it's it's Cloudclaw. <laughs> Essential to the game. <laughs> Clash of Clans on your phone. Oh yeah, no, I feel like we got to put categories on this. So we have mobile, and then we have uh, um, we have we have the unknown like pre pre when. Uh, oh wait, does Super Mario sixty four log your time? I guess it does for the save file, right? I was gonna say like, cause I played a lot of the original Pokemon Snap for N64. That was my favorite game. Don't wanna know how much hours I spent on Minecraft. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny. Bye Micah. 20K hours is 2.3 years, oh my God. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, Animal Crossing is, a lot of that is like, uh, 
customizing. It's also uh, hunting spiders or tarantulas or whatever. <laughs> Broom Closet Witch, thank you for the sub. Thank you so much. Uh, did I do a wheel spin? I think I did a wheel spin. Did I do a wheel spin for for what I needed to do? I don't remember. <laughs> Who's Who's the, I need to designate someone. Someone needs to volunteer at the start of the stream and be like, I will be the wheel spin counter. Breath of the Wild, 300 plus, yeah. <laughs> oh, Star Wars Galaxies? I never played that. That's good that y'all have similar memories. Oh yeah, Wizards Unite, see a different category. Doesn't keep up if you play on different cards. Uh, Rickwood is secretly a Ravenclaw companion. He's pretty old to be a companion. <laughs> Don't you think? Oh, y'all are saying 70, right? Have I played Stray? Oh my God, so Stray is nominated for many things and it's on my wish list and I was waiting for it to go on sale. Hopefully there's a good Steam sale uh, that, I mean, I'm I'm really hoping because I I wanna play it before, because I'm like, can, can it be on sale now? So is the winter sale more? The winter sale comes after, isn't there a Black Friday sale for Steam? And then they usually do a winter sale after? Which one? Is, I'm trying to remember, like in my cycles of Steam, like binge purchasing. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to buy Stray. I have to, I have to. So excited for Hogwarts Legacy, Savage Gamer 457. Hello, welcome. We are also excited for Hogwarts Legacy. You have a feeling that Vig is our Ravenclaw companion? Cindy, oh, Cindy is sabotaging the wheel here. To be fair, Zoxa got it twice, so. We have a Bellatrix makeup stream next stream. That should be fun. Um. You know, I should just get a, you know, this is the, this is a solution. I should just get a Bellatrix wig so I can pop it on and not worry about having to curl my hair or crimp it or make it messy or braid it the night before. All of those things. All right, I'm gonna, so sorry, Rita, but. Oh no. Oh no. Fire is just the same size as Bean Boozled. <laughs> it's, it's going down. It's going down. Burp, burp. Wow, yes, wow. <laughs> Am I gonna look at the trophy achievement list? No, no, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not. Um. Stray is the only game you've ever completed. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's go back to questions now that I'm... <laughs> Fire slice. Fire slice. All right. What else do we have up here? We have... Um... Oh, okay. Eye color options. So not seeing all of the options. Yeah, somebody at, uh, commented and was like, I wonder if we can have red eyes. This goes back to whoever said that they were gonna make Voldemort, or maybe you're the same person who was commenting and writing in chat. <laughs> but I don't know. I think, hmm. Well, wait, what did we see? Let's go back. What did we see in the character creator for eyes? Because... Oh wait, that's not, that's not it. It's, it's further. Wait, where do we choose eyes? <laughs> where do we choose the eyes? Oh, no, go to the start of the eye color. Lynette, it's in the eyeball button, come on. Well, okay, even that first, this one, it's not a black eye, it's like a dark brown, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna slow down, because we're not listening to audio right now. Then we scroll a bit. That, 
Uh, uh, are those hazel? That's like greenish. That's like silver. Oh wait, that's that's also brown. Wait, what color? What are colors? Wait, that's like a. Oh, that's more hazel, right? What color is hazel? Hazel is like yellow brown, right? Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, is that all we saw? Okay. Yeah. Interesting. How many tick marks are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 12, 13, oh gosh. Like, 30? Is it like 30? <laughs> uh. Looks like there are 15 eye color options on that slider. You're, hope you're hoping that there's red color eyes, yeah. <laughs> the the dark witch videos for Wizards Unite. That was those were good times. Those were good times. No 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 no. There is a Ravenclaw companion. <laughs> there has to be. There has to be. Yeah, I don't know. I imagine that there's probably the range of colors. Like, there's probably shades, that, like maybe two shades, like a dark green or a lighter green. There's probably like a darker blue, a light blue. Um, that's a lot of colors, though. So it, yeah. Well, there, I guess there's a lot of browns too. So there's probably there's probably more than two then of variations, unless they introduce other colors. Like, what if you had purple eyes, purple hair, purple eyes? Now, interestingly enough, Kins, my my usual character, has purple hair and green eyes. All right, what else do we have? Do you think we can eat more than apples? That's a good question. I think yes. Uh, I wonder what else is just laying about in the world that you can pick up and eat, though. Uh, the apples we saw a lot of in the common room, in the dorm. Uh, like, can we, at the pub, can we just, like, go pick up somebody else's drink and start chugging butterbeer? <laughs> oh my gosh. That seems really unsanitary, but I don't know, germs, who cares? It's, you're a wizard. No, I do think we can eat more than apples, and I think that there will probably be things to purchase that we can consume, but, like, lying about in the world, what would be an example of another thing that you could, like, pick up and eat? My example of butterbeer is probably not ideal. <laughs> Are there wizarding water fountains? Probably not, right? Can I choose which animal I have or not? How will my owl exist? Oh, wait. I already read this question. But yes, uh, we chatted about the owls. I did answer your question, JP. Um, is Avalanche featuring other content creators for the other gameplay showcases and who? I don't know. That's a question for Hogwarts Legacy. That's a question for Chandler. Y'all go at Chandler and tell him that I should be... No, I'm, <laughs> no, I'm not starting a harassment campaign. Um, I'll probably tweet about it because I think it's funny. I think it's a funny idea if you have like the, the crazy yelling girl. Ravenclaw professor who's just like geeking out about a Ravenclaw companion. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It the way that they phrased it seemed like there were that they were at least gonna host more showcases, but whether or not they were going to invite other content creators, I don't know. What? Oh wait, hold on, sorry. I switched back to main chat. <laughs> Let me check in on this poll. Look, Zenobia is pulling through. Zenobia as 43% of the votes for favorite NPC from the Hogwarts Legacy gameplay showcase. <laughs> oh, does somebody, does a mod have like a link to the Bellatrix, the Dark Witch? I don't know. If you go look in, I have a playlist. I think I still have it of Harry Potter Wizards Unite, like on my YouTube channel, you should be able to find uh, Bellatrix. Yeah, 
Is this um, when you have two eyes of different colors? Is that the term for it? At least one to two companions from each house. I mean, I'd love that. Are, are, are we on the Henry Potter train again? No, it's big. No, it's it's Cloud Claw McGee. <laughs> Oh, you do the opposite. Green hair with purple eyes. That's funny. Scones, tea. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, Great Hall. <laughs> the Great Hall is a good example of like just eating stuff. Whatever the house elves make for us, I guess. Yeah, I'm the same way with others. I don't need, at this point, I don't need to know who because especially if it is connected to something important, I don't need to know who at this point. I just want to know, yes, don't worry. Wait, are those donuts? Are those sweets? What What is on the bedside table right there? And why is nobody eating them? This look like donuts to me. Glazed, glazed little... Wait, isn't there a specific term for this kind of thing? It also kind of looks like a cronut, but with frosting on it. I don't know. We can drink tea. Yes, yes. I forgot there is a shot of us drinking tea. <laughs> Why would you want to eat more than apples? Apples are delicious. <laughs> Black pepper imps. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. A suggestion campaign. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the people are speaking. <laughs> oh my gosh. We need to keep the kitchen elves busy so we need to eat more than apples. Yeah. No, no, Winnie. What Winnie doesn't realize is that he's not gonna get back in then. <laughs> he, he just like barked like a little puppy, he, like let me out. Uh, what if, oh, what, how cool would it be if we had a muggle Ravenclaw? How does that work? Do they let muggles into Hogwarts? It's a sweet roll, it's a sweet roll. Dork Lordis is here, hello. What if the thunderstorm is a thunderbird? Like from Fantastic Beast? That would be wild. That would be super wild. What do I think the owl post is? Can we go to that? I, we haven't talked about this section of the replay yet. Here we have, uh, okay. So we're diving in. This is our field guide. Has all these categories. Gear, inventory, talents, collections. Has our level on here. Has our house overlaid. Challenges, that's the tab we go deeper into. But we also have map, quest, and I'll post. I don't know who is sending us stuff. So part of me believes that there might be like, there might be a point where Fig goes off and does stuff. Does that make sense? He's a professor, but like, I feel like maybe he goes off and does stuff or maybe the headmaster leaves and does stuff. And then uh, we get a letter or a package from him to be like, hey, Here's some info. Here's what I found out. Or here, take this package of stuff for ancient magic purposes. I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, if our parents are alive, then maybe we get owls from them. I'm not sure. But it seems that it would be from people outside of Hogwarts sending us stuff. Maybe, maybe, maybe Ranrock sends us hate mail. Ranrock sends us howlers all day. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, 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 um. Oh, you found it. Thank you, Zaxa. Maybe the, yes, exactly, Bearded Wizard. Maybe the outposts are from the Ministry of Magic. Because the Ministry, especially if there's a Goblin Rebellion, the Ministry is on top of things or trying to cover it up. I don't know. One or the other. And maybe they'll alert us of some intel, or maybe they send us on special missions. Maybe we work with the ministry. Maybe they threaten us. I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh. The fig is a sketchy boy. 
Ponch says the Ravenclaw companion is actually just Lynette. Oh, surprise, that's the big reveal. <laughs> no, it's not, it's not. That was sarcasm. Sorry if the tone didn't come out clear. I am not the Ravenclaw companion. I mean, if they're looking here, oh, alt idea, avalanche. If you're looking for a model for the Ravenclaw companion because for some reason you're like, oh, oops, we don't have one, I got you. I don't know how well my facial acting is, but I got you. <laughs> I can provide my services to be the Ravenclaw companion in the game. <laughs> oh my gosh. You're guessing Alpost is kind of like texting in Cyberpunk. You can get and reference quests there. Huh. There is a quest tab. And, I mean, I feel like it would be really cool to get stuff. But correspondences from, like, the Ministry or... Ooh, what if our parents are in Azkaban? What if our parents are in Azkaban and that's... We go to visit them in Azkaban. And they send us... Wait, can, can Azkaban prisoners send letters to people? Surely, yes, right? Maybe? Are they full lockdown? I don't remember. I don't remember the circumstances. Jen is here. Hello, Jen. Maybe we get letters from those vendors. Also another option. So people outside of Hogwarts. It's not like we're going to get a letter from Sebastian. Maybe Sebastian's sister. But not Sebastian. Yeah, especially if we're doing quests for random NPCs. It'll take us out there. Maybe we need to follow up with them. It would be cool to read newspapers in the game. I'm going to be someone who reads all the stuff because I don't know. I just like reading stuff and it's in the wizarding world. So I have to, I have to read everything. Wait a second. Brittany has a conspiracy theory. You think the ministry is using the, the field guide to spy on us? So wait, is Professor Weasley in on it? And she's like, here's your field guide. I was I was given direct orders from the ministry not to tell you that it's actually spying on you for use of ancient they oh what if what if we're like secretly a test subject and they're like, okay, we gotta study how this person uses ancient magic. Oh no. We have a bunch of researchers, some unspeakables in the Department of Mysteries that are like, okay, you gotta figure out what's up with this kid. I don't know. What if Rookwood is secretly an unspeakable and he's working with Ranrock? Now, now I'm just like, I just say things. It's fine. It's fine. Alpost could be the newspaper message boards. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. <laughs> We're Azkaban orphans. Do you think there will be New Game Plus? I, you know, I, <laughs> I'm not sure exactly how the end will be. I imagine there will be some sort of ending of like main quest, whatever. Um, from there, I'm not sure. I, I feel like I just want to put it up for a vote. What do y'all think? Like, what do you think about when we finish the game? Whatever whatever that looks like for the main quest line, main storyline. It's like, okay, we got, hey, roll credits because it's like, hey, all these people worked on this. And then open world, like you're kind of launched in there. And then you want to start a new game. Like, let's say I finished my Ravenclaw run. I want to go be a Slytherin now. Do you think that we would have to start over? Do you think we would be able to retain some of our expertise or tools or anything like that? I don't know. I haven't thought that far ahead. I'm just like, what's going on with the story? Expecto go! What's up? I did that voice with Brita too, where I start like singing and I don't know why. Expecto Go is one of the original Wizards Unite content creators. I've known James and Sue for a while now. Um, 
So, how are you doing? That is the voice I greet WooTubers with, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> okay, now I'm catching up here. Sorry, so sorry, so sorry. Can't wait to explore different caves. I want to explore the environment for sure. I want to go to that... Oh, this is paused on this page. I don't think we we finished talking about this, but it's okay. There's so many things to talk about. I want to go to the Nightmare Before Christmas bridge, the little swirly bridge. What if we get copies of the Daily Prophet? That's also a possibility. What if we subscribe? Like, give me a daily subscription to the Daily Prophet. Hey, it's the latest and greatest in Hogwarts Legacy content. Um, don't trust the ministry. Really? Your parents are dementors. New lore is happening as we speak. <laughs> so Fig is actually spying on us through Professor Weasley. Is that what's happening here? We're just we're just making up I, uh, theories about this now. <laughs> oh my gosh! Should I come back in to the questions that uh, tab? I'm almost caught up. Hold on. You theorized Professor Fig was previous. Okay, that makes way more sense than Rookwood. Rick, well, I don't know, because Gareth Greengrass, if you are familiar with the story of Wizards Unite, sorry, spoilers, Gareth Greengrass was head unspeakable and also a respected member of a dark cabal called the Unforgivable. So, I guess what I'm saying is don't trust anyone. That's rereading the Harry Potter books one chapter at a time. One chapter at a time is real slow reading. So it gets to sink in with me and... The more that we go through Magical Theory podcast, I'm like, I would be so paranoid in the wizarding world. Anyone can turn into anyone. You can make port keys out of anything. Uh, people could be not who they seem, spying on you, trying to kill you. Your teachers could try to kill you. I don't know. They could be an animagus. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Aren't you supposed to be creating content and getting it approved? That's funny. Yeah, I know. James deserves a break for being a whole community representative. <laughs> um, New Game Plus lets you start the game as a professor. It's like it, it launches in the future and it's like 10 years later. Post, post credits, like post credit scene, but it's like a post game where it's just like, oh, Here's this little extra to see how Hogwarts turned out due to the, the nature of your choices. Wouldn't that be cool? Do any games do that? Where you play through, your choices matter, and then you jump like a decade into the future and it's like, hey, this is this is the consequence. I'd play. I'd play a game just to be like, okay, this is this is my well, I guess if you had games that were just endings that are like, this is the ending, this is the ending. The world explodes. Yeah, since Sirius didn't, you don't think that they do. Oh, I see, I see. What's what's my take on uh, Zenobia? Where's Merlin and his dragon egg? James, have you seen my ancient magic egg? <laughs> because, okay, look at, uh, let's go back to the, the menu screen again over here. This card with the quest, that is... That is my ancient magic egg. <laughs> okay, it looks funny with my face in here. My ancient magic egg. The most perfect paperweight that I could possibly find. Oh, I'm not on the blue part. I'm, I'm just gonna pretend that this is Hogwarts Legacy merch. <laughs> they don't have Hogwarts Legacy merch, but I'm gonna pretend this paperweight is official Hogwarts Legacy merch and I actually carry an egg, an ancient egg of magic. <laughs> That's what the emote is. Yes, Steph. This egg emote is my literal, <laughs> my literal paperweight. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, James can defend Poppy. I will defend Zenobia until I die. <laughs> uh, even, okay, she might be evil, but honestly, this girl is super innocent. Let's, let's, let's replay this. <laughs> I need y'all to know that Zenobia is just an innocent little girl here, okay? We're coming back over here, we're gonna watch this with the sound on. 
uh, but those opportunities exist for the plan. Wow, look at this. We're gonna watch this, this with Zenobia. Defense against the dark arts. Because she is perfectly <laughs> fine. An 11 year old. Are you all right? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noak, the girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. I can't believe this. Everyone hates you. Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no talent moon mind. No talent moon I wanted to make some mind. new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. I haven't much interest in a game that sprays you with odors. Only if you lose, which I never do. Or at least, not often. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. She's the worst Etheric loser. Etheric and Astoria are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. I Sounds as if you caused cannot. the smelly situation I and cannot. they responded accordingly. I didn't make the rules. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. <laughs> I already said, okay, I'll explain when, when this is done. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. <laughs> I, I love that interaction with her because oh there's so many ways gosh. that you can go with like, that. You can like, you can- Come on. She is freaking adorable. Okay, I will, I will say, I know I'm the person that was like sus of Constance Pickering from the beginning, but did you know that, sorry, let me fully say my thought. Harry Potter Wizards Unite, Constance Pickering. As soon as we met her, I was like, this girl is bad. Then it wasn't until that December event where she was like all sad and stuff and she was talking about her life and her mom and her sister didn't, didn't invite her to Christmas and all this stuff and Harry invited her and I was like, oh, Constance. She almost got me there. So it could be the case that Zenobia is a mastermind and she's just manipulative, but she's 11 years old. Unless she's like a baby Tom Riddle who just knows how to say things to get what he, he wants, you know? <laughs> the whole game is a dream sequence where really Merlin having a premonition stop. <laughs> what happens if Zenobia dies because of your actions? Okay, it's like Colin Creevy. Because the other sentiment I got from people was that she was annoying to people. And I'm like, but she's just a little girl. <laughs> she's just a little girl. You can vote right now. If you go to the community tab on YouTube, on my channel, there is a vote right now. I don't know what, what the numbers are, how it's shaken out. But you can vote of how you feel about her. <laughs> Zenobia is super snotty at best. Exactly. Listen, no. <laughs> okay. At worst, she's the big bad evil guy. But she just seems like, you know, she just doesn't understand... Maybe Zenobia is right all the time because she's ju she just is, and she doesn't know how to have interactions that aren't so like black and white, blunt. You know, like there's there's something there that's like you learn also as you have more experiences and meet different kinds of people that like you know you can't just call someone a loser even though technically they lost a game. You don't say that because in the context of being a person, being called a loser is not a great way to have an interaction with another human being. So she just needs some like, she. I think she just needs to understand that, you, you know, social cues and like how to talk to people. She's 11. She's 11. <laughs> In the trailer, we saw the prefect's bathroom. What connection or what do you think would lead us to that area? 
Ooh. Uh, I was gonna say, they just make us the prefect. <laughs> They're like, oh, new kid, you should be the prefect. You don't know anything about Hogwarts, let's go. Um, I wonder if the prefects have some information or a prefect has some information. I, cause, so my mind is going in two directions. One is that we were invited in or could, were allowed in because we're special. The other is that we sneak in because we want to see what's up. Because there's hidden treasure in there. <laughs> she's not working with the fake. She's calling us losers. Oh my gosh. Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> oh. <laughs> with a little psycho vibe. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Are they really gobstones at all? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. No, she's not luring us into a trap. She's just... just <laughs> oh, the statue is a clue that she just hangs, that she worships Morgana. Oh my god. Okay, I, I am fine with evil Zenobia if evil Poppy is also in on it. If they're like part... They're part of a secret, so they're not in the secret Cross Wands dueling club because they're actually in their own secret Death Eater Club. They're not Death Eaters yet, but whatever the equivalent of a Death Eater is, they're in a secret cult. I'm fine with that. I approve. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay, I'm scrolling through. I'm scrolling through. <laughs> She's playing into her cuteness. She's just a little kid. This is a very fair point. James's avatar, who was played by Andrew, was mean to Zenobia, and she didn't get mad. She complimented him. Actually, I mean, okay. The part that kind of almost made me be like, I don't know, was the part where she says, not this part, it's like near the end, where she was like, I was hoping that, uh, what did she call us? A selfless and talented fifth year. And when she said that, I was like, it's okay, she's 11, she can't be evil, right? <laughs> Who talks like that? A selfless and talented fifth year? Well, she also knows, everyone knows that we're the hero, like the special one. Like we weren't at Hogwarts before and now we are. Oh my goodness, I can't. A combination of Luna and Hermione personality. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, she's, I don't think she's the Ravenclaw companion. <laughs> That's why you can't change your height because we have to reach the gobstones. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. That's, she <laughs> Oh, here's, okay, uh, we have a breakdown, so 39%, oh wait, sorry, 39% just a girl, 47% mastermind, 15% mean. See, I don't think she's mean, even though Chandler said it, like, in the, in the debrief after, like, she's not mean. Maybe if you choose to be a Ravenclaw, you get to interact, oh, maybe she'll spray me with, oh no, we can't play Gobstones. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's in the Ashwinder cult, yes. Yes, oh my god, what if she's the kid of an Ashwinder? Where is it? She is the child. <laughs> oh my gosh. Somebody decipher, this is what we do best, get those Scrabble tiles out. What is Zenobia no, what is her name anagram to? This is why we play words on stream before every stream. Before the stream starts, we always play words on stream. Yeah, this is Zenobia's dad. Just getting destroyed. <laughs> I'm, just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. She's a sweet little girl. She's sweet. She is sweet. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's not. She's the child leader. <laughs> HP 999. 
And then when you take her down, and then she just like reincarnates and it's like, oh, try it again. <laughs> she can never die. She's already been she's she's already been dead for years. No, just kidding. All right, let me see. I, I have not made much progress on these questions. Um, what spells do you think we will have or hope to have in the game? So Alan mentioned over 20 spells, uh, 16 of which could be slottable. Actually, it was the 20 spells in reference to all the spells, including the ones that were very specific, like Revelio. Let's go back. What did he say in that? In that section there, was it, it must, I think it was early on, right? Was it this part? You're like, James, when was it in the showcase? Our first look at the Hufflepuff common room, I'm assuming. I mean, don't right here with the UI, because this is our first look. Is it here? Yeah. So, or was it in the um, combat section? Right now, we know there's been a lot of questions about, uh, about, about the HUD, because this is the first time we're showing it. So um, kind of going over it from right to left, on the bottom right is what we call our spell diamond. Mm -hmm. So those are, everything that you see in it are slottable spells. So we have over oh, 20 here. slottable spells that you can oh, earn 20 over the, of the game. Okay. okay. And, and that's where the player can place them and use them and access them very quickly. Um, to the top left of that is you'll see the D-pad and on the left is an eyeball and on the right is a bit of a grid. So uh, the eyeball is an example of one of, not a slottable spell, but what we call an essential oh, spell. Um, there are certain spells that are used in very specific contexts or, um, or that you we just want on the controller. You can't tell me that this triangle online. symbol is mm -hmm. not the and Illuminati. And is one of those. That's okay. left on the D-pad. On the right on the D-pad is that grid represents where you might slot spells. And so okay. right now, today, we're not gonna be going into the spell slotting menu because we feel like there's a lot of spoilers there. You know, like <laughs> what are all the spells? James, like, I want the spoilers. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we do want to make sure there's still- So nice, so nice. Um, Zenobia translate to, wait, what does life of zoos mean? Yes, okay, this is also what I wanted to ask y'all about, is this Owl Tower situation, was that, was that late, late? No, that was in the middle, right? Was that? <laughs> is that the spot where we paused at the, here? No. Where was it? Was it when we were leaving? Oh, it's... Eh. Where was the Owl Tower joke? <laughs> this is at the very end, so I don't know. I can't find it. But there was a change in camera. I... Yeah, I, I don't know what that was. Life of Zeus? Wait, have we met the royal British family? Here. Oh, I found the Owl Tower. Yes, this. Hold on, I found it. I found it. I found it. <laughs> okay, yes, we have an ointment. <laughs> She's obviously good because she heals like an ointment. <laughs> Life by Zeus or power of Zeus. Right here. Where we go. There we go. This view. So this made me wonder. Oh, wait. Is this for like... You know how when I am so bad at um, bow and arrow combat in games? <laughs> so that's what it reminded me of. Is like you're aiming to shoot. You're aiming to shoot something. here see what y'all are saying you think that they forgot to make a ravenclaw companion no 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 i think that they have to they have to <laughs> they have to and it's gonna be i mean the more that they don't tell us anything the more in my brain i'm building this expectation that it's a glorious reveal that we're all gonna like oh i never answered the question of what spells do i want um I want all sorts of spells that invo involve elemental 
nonsense. Like, I want to explode things with fire, lightning. Can I be a Sith Lord? Drain your magic. <laughs> um, and the we didn't get into this, but it was about the alterations of the spells. Can I find that in... Uh, I think it was in the Q&A. I think it was the... Was it... It was after the character question that James asked, I think. So he's uh, getting the questions. All right. Oh, we can so, just listen to this again. Um, some of these questions we did pull from the community uh, secretly, but I did pull for the community. So, uh, <laughs> And also from, I mean, going through this, I Based feel like they're, of, they're, yeah. you've, you've come up with some things you want to talk a little more about, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> Elaborate on, because we went through character customization, Hogwarts itself, and even combat. So uh, this would be like for the both of you guys. Uh, will we be able to go back and change our character creation if we don't like it? Um, so not everything, but mm -hmm. there are certain things uh, with hairstyle, hair color. Uh, so kind of like core shapes, okay. you know, like okay. with the body and face, not after the fact. Okay. Um, but there are lots of things. There's kind of like a barber shop in Hogsmeade that you can go to. And of course, there's a wizard there, barber. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. You can change your hair color for holidays. I want to have yeah. different oh colored hair gosh. for the different that holidays, so cool. for sure. And the game features a lot of Can I um, have like a, a hat that has a magical mm -hmm. effect? So there's, there's a ton of options there. Um, but that, that's... You know, speaking of hats, we didn't see any like... A, well, because this is the, the initial character creator. So... Uh... I wonder how we'll equip that, or like what that menu pop-up will look like. In terms of like your character and stuff that you have, mm -hmm. the character creator, it's mm -hmm. like a it's like a, a smaller set of what you saw there. Okay. Oh my gosh, awesome, awesome. Next question, what kind of leisurely activity can we do? Uh, can we study with our free time? I mean, what will we be doing just hanging out in Hogwarts? Um, because uh, as you progress through the game, there's oh, yeah, a bunch of different missions that open up. Most of them are driven by different characters' Extra personalities. Spells. You know, some of them want help getting up to hijinks, or they want some of them want to just explore secrets Pranks. in the castle right, because right. there are new Prank secrets everyone. in our castle. Are you going to be a to prankster? Explore. And so, um, so I think uh, there's there's a bunch of things to do. And when it comes to class, um, as I mentioned earlier, it's not just kind of like the mainline stuff. They're kind of like extra. I just realized that with pranking in the game, there's probably going to be a good chunk of y'all pranking Zenobia and being a bully. Killer assignments. Some of which are <laughs> optional, some her. of which are, are kind of like uh, blockers for main mission. Kind of like okay. you can't go on this mission right. until you have the spell. And then the spell is open, you Got know, it. the assignment and how you complete it yeah, with, yeah. with your professor. And so there are opportunities to... Um, to study, so to speak, like right. with that. Right. But they're really, they do all take take uh, the form of our mission structure. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. As you mentioned earlier. Wow. Um, let's get Turn into Turn enemies some into combat animals. Right quick. Uh, do spells have different Sorry, levels? Sorry, you're a rabbit or now. Are they all equal? Do spells have different levels or are they all equal? I'm trying to think of how to describe that. So each spell has kind of like its own core identity and mm -hmm. what it does in the game mm -hmm. uh, with regards to both kind of like puzzling, world exploration and and enemy combat and all that kind of stuff right. and then it's through the talent system okay right okay. when you go okay. into that it's kind of like each of those spells has ways to kind of like advance and grow and change okay. and as you spend talents in some cases it even changes like the way you approach the the battlefield mm -hmm. and things like that mm -hmm. so i i'd say that's no more true than with like dark arts for example right. and as you go down that line and you kind of play around with those talents, it really does start to kind of like affect even how you approach combat yeah. and how you think about the battlefield. Okay, so that to me, I what I want to know what y'all think is how that plays out because in the, oh, we don't have the talents thing here with like the screen that has the cards where, where it says core skills and it's like whatever number out of 17. Uh, somebody brought up, I don't remember if it was Andrew or someone else, uh, brought up potentially level 50 since there's 50 talent points to spend. Wow. Like, uh, so we already talked about, is this categories of spells, like dark arts is a category of spells, charms is a category of spells, um, or is it individual spells and how that plays out. I don't exactly, I still don't quite 
understand how alteration, what he means by alteration, I'm very intrigued by it. Like, of course we have Maxima as the alteration or the enhancement of a spell. Lumos Maxima, just a brighter light, you know. Uh, but what other kinds of alterations might there be? I also wonder if, so like if you like infuse some dark arts with like, with a, um, what do you call it? What do you call it? What do you call it? Akio, for example. Can I, can I infuse Akio with some darkness and make it like an Akio that does piercing damage at the same time? <laughs> I, I have questions about that, you know? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you hope we can max out? Oh, I missed this comment. When did they say that? Oh, Destroy All Humans. Okay, I have played Destroy All Humans, and that game is ridiculous. I think Steph was the one who uh, recommended that to me. Uh, yeah. You hope we can max out our character RPG. I guess this is the question I'm trying to get at. So this is a good uh, question um, or a comment. I mean, RPGs often have a cap on some talents. So some talents will be unattainable, unfortunately. That's kind of what I'm getting at is can we max everything? Or do you think that there will have to be some choices? Like the way that he's phrasing it makes me feel like you can't do everything. But then I'm confused because there's like denominators where it's like you have core and it says out of 17 unless there's a further system breakdown in there that's like maybe you have like a talent thing and you can choose the flavor of it that you want i just don't know the variations in there especially if we're going to alter things of our existing spells I do understand the concept of like, depending on where you invest your talents and um, skills, then that's going to impact your strategy in combat. That makes sense to me perfectly. It's just like the details of it, I don't know. Uh, unclear. <laughs> Making pigs fly. <laughs> you wonder if in a sequel you'll get romantic options. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what is on the table right now. I do think that, especially with the amount of chatter, I mean, did it, I, I feel like it got to number four on trending, The ga this gameplay showcase, it was on number four trending on YouTube. I don't know if it got higher than that, but that I remember seeing it at number four, I believe. It has over 2 million views. Like a lot of people are interested in Hogwarts Legacy. It's nominated for, hey, pinned comment right here. It's nominated for most anticipated game at the Game Awards. I think that they there is absolutely potential for multiple extensions of Hogwarts Legacy, whether that be in DLCs, whether that be in investing in some sort of multiplayer type game. I don't know. I am really excited because the more that we talk about this game, the more that we, you know, share our excitement, the more we tell other people about it and get hyped up, I think the better chance of success of Hogwarts Legacy and potential additional stuff that they could make for us. I don't know. It's noggin on our downtime. <laughs> Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Yeah, you did recommend it. No, it's okay about Destroy All Humans too. You can, you feel free to talk about things to in chat. Um, <laughs> I'm sure there will be a bug that can be exploited to the max. Oh my gosh. Where are the dupe bugs? Just, just become super, super rich or like, I don't know, I, I, I can uh, spawn, spawn. I can brew infinite healing potions. I don't know. <laughs> How cool would it be if the community decided what the true ending is? Ooh. Christmas DLC. Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, you hope that the sequels end up being big DLCs. You don't see a point on making it two more games for sixth and seventh year. Unless we don't fully succeed. Like, Ranrock is still alive or something else is still lingering. That's the only way to, like, continue on with it. Like, the, I don't know, because it could be tough. Like, you want some sort of... This is the end, this is the closing. Uh, but also, could you leave it open? I don't know. I don't know how they're doing it. <laughs> Boy! Boy! Some people are upset with how quick the doors fly open. I want to see a door fly open. There, or this, is this door already open? Show me a door opening, please. I think it's fine. Like, I, I don't want to... <laughs> look, I am a magical person. I don't want to just be... I don't want a door to get in my way. This isn't Dungeons & Dragons, okay? <laughs> Where doors are the bane of our existence. The true ending is Zenobia gets expelled. Oh my gosh. Oh my... You hope we get to find a time turner? Ooh. DLCs with minigames, see? Like, not fully scrap it, but like, hey, this isn't gonna be part of it. Let's do the ultimate gobstones tournament where Zenobia is the referee. What it was, <laughs> the game master? I don't know, she's in charge of it. <laughs> she got too bored of like being too good at gobstones and winning all the time that she decided to host her own competition, enter at your own risk. Goblet of Fire, Quidditch Cup. Yeah, these are all, like, the Wizarding World is a robust world. We could see a lot. Diagon Ag... Uh, uh, Diagon Alley... That's what I said. <laughs> Diagon Alley Legacy. Trending is Poppy being the Dark Lady. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. See, y'all just came up with so many ideas. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Move out of the way, please. Zenobia Noak has 11 letters in her full name and she's 11 years old. <laughs> coincidence? Is that a coincidence? All right, let me see where I'm at in the question list. Apples, trophies, spells. Am I going to do a Dark Wizard playthrough? Absolutely. I must get all... Endings, all possibilities, all iteration. Actually, maybe not all because that would, I mean, I don't know, maybe all. If I'm deciding I'm going to aim for the 20K, 20K hours. <laughs> New goal, 20K hours in Hogwarts Legacy. Go, new challenge. Uh, but yes, I do want to do a Dark Wizard playthrough. I think the big question, well, actually, honestly, I'm going to do Unforgivable Spells in my first run, absolutely. My rationale, because uh, normally in games I play like a like the ideal version of who I think this I should be in this world. Like I should follow the rules because I'm a rule follower. I should try to get all this stuff. Then usually it gets out of hand where if I don't have any consequence for stealing something, then I'm like, okay, steal everything then. <laughs> That's that's kind of how my gameplay usually plays out. Um, I think that in service of my Ravenclaw quest for knowledge, I must understand unforgivable spells. So that's my rationale for doing some dark arts in my first playthrough. Um, are you going to spend a lot of time raising animals and growing plants? This I'm not sure about. This is gonna sound very, very whatever, but I will if they serve a purpose in combat or <laughs> or helping me get stronger, maybe providing me with tools. Like I'll just hang out with Poppy so I can learn to equip a mandrake in my tool bag, pull it out and use it in combat. Like that's that's kind of. I'm an opportunist. 
skeptic person when it comes to <laughs> trying to raise animals and plants. No, animals I would like more. Also, thank you for the sub, Gap. Um, animals I would I would enjoy to have pets, but maybe plants. I don't know. I don't know. What kind of controller do I use on PC? I might have answered your question already. It's just so right now all I have is this very basic. It's just a gamepad. It's like the cheapest gamepad that you could probably get. It does. It gets the job done. Um, I also have my Switch Pro controller that I sometimes hook up. Not all games work nicely with the Switch Pro controller on Steam, though. Like it, sometimes it doesn't. Wheel spin, destructible environment. Yeah. <laughs> Which players will turn into teacher's pets? And oh, oh, oh. What is it when you're like, you're basically two-faced, so you're like nice to teachers and so that you can get all the, the special treatment and then you're just rude to everyone else. <laughs> is that an option? Is that an option? Oh, destructible environments, yeah. I want, ooh! Ellen, new new wheel slot. Oh no. Oh, okay. Ellen, what spell do you want to learn? Do you want me to teach the class? This is Ellen's spell. Oh, I don't even know if Ellen's here. Ellen, if you're here, you get to choose which spell you want me to teach. Otherwise, I will. Um, well, teacher's pets aren't necessarily rude to other students. I guess unless you're like telling on them for cheating or something like that. I will teach you a spell. <laughs> Flashback to never, I never planted in greenhouses. Picket will be my only friend, or a bow truckle, so that the bow truckle can help me pick locks. <laughs> Did y'all notice that when we were walking, I'm gonna find it in the gameplay and then I'll switch over so that you can see it. Uh, in the gameplay, there is like a door and it was locked and it was red. And it said something like level one or something. Can I find it before before we need to get there? You know, I'll just I'll just switch over, and then if if we see the red text com come up, then we can go back to it. <laughs> Ravenclaw companion doesn't exist. Poppy used Avada, transmorphified the corpse into whoa whoa whoa. <laughs> she has party card to Junior's great grandmother. Uh, oh, Punch, I like this idea. A DLC where we play as a ghost of our character during the events of the book timeline. A ghost. Oh my gosh. You hope it's super destructible. Ooh, would you be up in the sky more often than the ground? That's a tough call. Because being on the ground means that I can like try to test cast my spells on everything and then try to find all the secrets that are on the ground. But being up in the air is very appealing to me because you can see further into the distance. You could potentially avoid fighting people by flying on a broomstick. Unless they occupy your broom away from like out of you or from underneath you. I'm not sure. I probably will be on the ground a lot more than flying at the first start. Maybe in the second playthrough, I'll probably do more flying. <laughs> Guinness World Record, longest time playing Hogwarts Legacy. <laughs> uh, you're, you're gonna create Bellatrix? Very, very nice. Wait, is Alan in here? Avada? You want me to teach Avada? <laughs> okay. Um, I think Avada is just like a little like L looking thing. I wanna, I don't wanna teach y'all the wrong spell. Welcome to, it's not even defense, it's the dark arts. <laughs> Welcome to the dark arts classroom of wizard PhD. Spell motion. I don't want to teach y'all the wrong one. Oh no, Avada is the lightning bolt, isn't it? <laughs> what is the one that I'm thinking of with just the thing? Of course Avada is the lightning bolt. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to me. All right, Avada Kedavra. We are going to uh, 
practice this with, um, just grab your, you know, your usual dark wand that you use to kill people. What you're going to do, defense against defense against the dark arts. Uh, Avada has no counter spell. There's no blocking. So when you use this, you better be sure. <laughs> You better be sure when you use Avada. You're going to- oh gosh, this is gonna be mirrored though. I hope you can deal with it. You're going to... I- the problem with this wand is I don't know how to hold it. <laughs> like this. Like this. Hold on, I wanna read- I wanna read the uh, description to make sure. Is there anything descriptive? I've never ca cast Avada before, so I should not be teaching this. <laughs> I have not taught this before. It doesn't say if there's like a specific wrist flick or anything like that. Um, okay, the very first tip that I have to give you is that you have to make a mortal, like a, a mortal enemy who you hate more than anything. You're obsessed with them. Um, you know, it's best if you find a baby who's an enemy that way that you can just stalk them for their entire life and just have a very, very dramatic encounter where you're just yelling about how much they are the worst and how you're the greatest wizard of all time. And then you want to make sure that your closest demon friends are just circling you so that they watch and that you have an audience for uh, then you're gonna get your your wand and as you're doing your very very dramatic evil villain dialogue at your chosen target because you're absolutely sure that the only way that you can be happy in life and exist is if you kill this baby you are obsessed with then you just say your speech and then arc real hard and make a swishing lightning motion and with all of your might kind of sounding like an old dying snake man you say Avada Kedavra and that's how you do it except you go faster you go Avada Kedavra and you you might have to hold it because you're getting Expelliarmus so your wand is trying to you know climb out of your hand but you just gotta hold on Red light will come out and you just hold it and you hold it and you hold it until something goes wrong and then you kind of disappear into a billion pieces. <laughs> Avocado cadaver. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're all dying. <laughs> yes, this is how you cast Avada. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Zenobi, you have to mean it. You have to mean it. That is Alan's wheel spin as I get to teach you a spell. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny. Oh, I can choose the spell for us. This was the first time, so I felt like you got, you could, you know, have the honor of choosing. <laughs> oh man, oh man, yeah. Ground exploring as well, okay, okay. Uh, did I, I think I got all the questions. I think I did them all, did I do them all? Yes, I did, I did the questions. I'm going to end the Q&A so that I don't have to keep bouncing back and forth. Great questions, y'all. Wonderful questions here. Uh, was there anything that I did not focus on in this that you wanted to look at again? So we talked a bit about combat, the Ashwinder, Zenobia. Uh, what else, what else, what else? I think we covered a lot of it. Oh, we didn't, I didn't look for the door. <laughs> the door was the thing I was looking for. There's like a locked door somewhere. Oh well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have I done this before? No, 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 no. Yeah, uh, if you want, you should just chop off your nose beforehand. It really helps with the voice, for, with you sounding like a snake. <laughs> How do you know that spell? <laughs> uh, do you think you can visit and sit 
um, our house's dorm in our house's dorm room. So you mean like other, not your house? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I I I feel like okay. So part of me feels like we'll probably get away with a lot of things because oh, here's the portrait that peed on the wall. We'll probably get away with a lot of things because we're we're basically special. We're like famous. We're nobody goes to Hogwarts late as a fifth year. So I feel like we probably have exceptions. Also, okay, here's the other thing that I wrote down in my notes, but I don't I don't have enough to go off of to make a full video about it. Uh, apparently we can just accelerate the curriculum of Hogwarts by giving kids a field guide. Why don't you just give everyone the field guide? They learn all the basic stuff and then they do more interesting, like difficult spells later on. Like, for example, Jeff was talking to me about, uh, so we have spells like becoming an animagus, like that's not taught in Hogwarts. That's like, I mean, to be fair, I guess you don't want a whole like generation of animagi just roaming around. Any animal could be a witch or wizard spying on you. So maybe that's why, but we don't see like fancy spells. I guess the Patronus charm is pretty difficult. Yeah, yeah. But what I'm saying is if you spent like, I don't know, a year, a few months catching up with five years worth of Hogwarts curriculum, and then you can spend the rest of those years trying really hard to learn more advanced stuff. Wonder what would be the public school or community college version of Hogwarts. Um, yeah, there are, see, there's a little marker that you can extinguish that flame. I don't know if this is part of a puzzle because you have the cloud or cloud claw right there. Oh, is this the one that has the locked door? No. It's the, it's the scene where Peeves is at. Where's Peeves? Where's Peeves in this game? They don't give time turners to everyone either? Yeah. I, I know. <laughs> uh, oh, physical objects can. Ooh, yeah, what if a... Uh, you, oh, cause yeah. So if it hits you, then there's no nothing that you could do, but you could like send your Phoenix friend. Or a bird friend. Is it just gonna be birds? Send your owl. No. <laughs> Summon something to block the Avada or to get the Avada curse on it. Is Peeps later on? Is it? I'm gonna find this door. The Horcrux book would also be there. <laughs> I will kill every apple in this castle. <laughs> Raising the dead in Hogwarts Legacy. That's if you learn all of Salazar's secrets. You think Salazar could break? Well, you have the Inferi looking things. And this is Zenobia again. Okay, I guess she is right next to the Morgana statue, but it's fine. She's fine. I'm trying to find Peeves. Is it after Dark Arts classroom? I'm not sure. You hope we get to jump into portraits? <laughs> oh my gosh. That's funny. That is funny. Oh, here, we're gonna sip some tea. I do have this. Also, okay, I'm sorry. There's just tea sitting about? Well, he just kind of pulled the glass out of nowhere, but, and it disappeared out of nowhere, but, is no one like washing those cups? Y'all are gonna get sick. <laughs> uh. Oh my gosh, Teal side, you don't like Poppy? Well, we haven't seen a lot of her yet, so she could she could be more interesting. I I I was expecting from her companion card to get more details, and I'm like, ooh, she has a cool backstory, but. It was basically just more like, oh, she loves animals. And I'm like, yeah, I got it. 
Raising the dead from all the apples. <laughs> That's what, wait, is this another one of those weird black mirror looking things? Are all the mirrors like this? And I just totally missed it. What's the deal with the, or maybe they just didn't put in the mirror shine asset in. <laughs> why, are the, why is the mirror black? Your poppy is cute, yeah. Ghost of Morgana. <laughs> um, someone should play as Harry Potter, but in Slytherin. Be like, what would happen if? Mm hmm. I don't know where the door is. I've given up on looking for the door. I do like all the gold and the gold accents, the gold and red. I like it a lot. <laughs> Hogwarts Legacy is secret of Black Mirror episode. Yep. That's what we find out at the end. <laughs> Green as fresh pickled toe, Ginny's favorite. Aww. You're a Slytherin, so Slytherin first, and then evil Hufflepuff playthrough. Is this the door? Finally. Finally. Okay. Level one lock is what it says. But we're, we don't have, we don't have Alohomora, I'm guessing, to be able to unlock this. Because, unless, no, we're level two, I think, still. Because we saw the scene with our little menu that we're level two, so I don't think it's the level or a character. I think it's maybe the level, oh wait, what if lock is a skill? And we have to spend a talent to, uh, for level one lock. You know how like in Skyrim you have like the level numbers? I mean, they go up pretty high, but I don't think we're gonna have as many as that. But if we go into that and then we level those up. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. Oh, it goes up to 100%, really? Woo, woo. Yeah, go to class. Go to class. Well, I found it. I accomplished it. <laughs> I accomplished something. Oh, there's Peeves. What's Peeves up to? Alohomora needs to level up to unlock certain doors, maybe. Yeah, so is it just Alohomora, that, or would there be other... Could lock apply to... Well, well I guess lock could apply to chest. Huh. Because I'm thinking about like whether whether a lock would apply to something else in like our skills or talents. <laughs> no, don't cruise your poppy. Wait, are you gonna harm the bees? No, <laughs> they're little babies. You saw those little moon calves, right? They're so cute. Look at all those birds. Just birds everywhere. All right, well, 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 well. I think, I think we did a good walkthrough again of this. There is so much to look at here with um, the gameplay showcase. I am looking forward to seeing I'm looking forward to seeing more. I'm also like in this weird space where I'm like, please, can I have the game now? <laughs> please, can I play? Please. <laughs> Role play as the Lorax and speak to trees. Oh, I can do that just pretending to be kins. I'm like, I'm a druid. I said that in one of the last Magical Gamers Monday. I was like, I just want to play as a druid. Can, can Is that possible? Can I do that? Oh my gosh. Thestrals, aw. Yeah, baby Thestrals out in the forest. Oh, Winnie was trying to get in here. <laughs> is it is it time, Winston? Is it time to say goodbye? Come here. Come here. Oh my goodness, Winston. Oh, oh. Puppy. Oh, puppy. Oh, puppy. You can't stand to be away. Little sep Oh, your, your little baby is showing. <laughs> Separation anxiety for a little puppy. Having a full army of evil moon calves. I mean, I mean. 
Okay, that's a fair point. So some spells Alohomora doesn't work on. Yeah, yeah. Mm hmm All right, bye, Winston. Bye, Winston. All right, y'all. Well, um, let me check on the votes one more time. 187 votes. Your favorite NPC from the Hogwarts Legacy Gameplay Showcase. Uh, I have 20% Nelly Ogspire. 40 Wait, we went back to the original percentage breakdown. <laughs> Zenobia was leading, and now she's not. That's fine, that's fine. Uh, Zenobia and Lucan can be tied. Lucan's face always cracked me up, and just just rewatch his face. It was just really funny to me. <laughs> what level are those knights in Gryffindor? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um. All right, I'm gonna go eat lunch because I am hungry now. Coffee chat. Coffee chat has made me hungry, but be sure to check out uh, my latest videos on the channel. So the last video I published this morning was about NPCs changing the game ending, which I'm like, what's up with that? Who is important enough? I don't think Zenobia, no offense to Zenobia. I don't think she's important enough to change the game ending for Hogwarts Legacy, so. There's some like ideas, speculation there of who might be important. Uh, then also, I'm still not done with Hogwarts Legacy shorts. I just gotta, you know, get the creative juices going for what what should be the next funny video be? Oh, three more likes, four more likes, three more likes. Every 10 likes is a wheel spin. If you want to see me possibly eat a bean, let me just show you what the wheel. Can I show you what the wheel is? I don't. I don't know if we're gonna make it. I don't know if we're gonna make it. That's fine. The keys, oh my gosh, we didn't even talk about the keys. This is why, okay, so what's her face? Nellie, I don't know why I can't remember her name. I think it's because Natsai was like stuck in my brain and then I was like, Netty, Natty, Netty, Nellie. Nellie is her name. The keys are also interesting. I am all about treasure. Oh, we stalled long enough. Pickett is happy to look at this wheel. One more time. One more time for the road. Maybe it's a bean boozle. Watch, it's gonna be like a fire bean. No, it's not. Ariana, Ariana was a shout out. I'm gonna give a shout out. I'm, because we're on the Boston hype train this morning, I'm gonna give a shout out to Boston for all of the connections to lore and rereading the Harry Potter books countless times to make this game look beautiful. I'm gonna roll one more time. I'm gonna roll one more time. I always roll twice on Ariana's. Bean Boozle for the road. I should just end the stream with the Bean Boozle, honestly, because I get so excited for it. I need a refill on Bean Boozles. Actually, no, I still have like 30. Ooh! Mmm. <laughs> Blueberry. You gotta eat dessert before you eat lunch. That's how it works. <laughs> All right, y'all. Um, remember to use those Avadas wisely. <laughs> Hope to see y'all on the next live stream. Um, I'll be streaming a couple more times this week. Uh, once on YouTube for a PC Gamer Showcase? I don't know, it's on my calendar though. Uh, also, some collabs going on with other content creators. Otherwise, I'll see you back here for Magical Gamers Monday next Monday. Magical Theory Podcast should be going on Sunday, so stay tuned for that. Thanks so much for watching and until next time. Avada Kedavra.